Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, once again to another week of the Level Unlock Podcast. It's a big one. Uh, we're done after this. This is the last episode. It is. Yeah. It's, it's, it's the a big episode, one, boys. Man. This is uh, <laughs> been a nice run. It's been. Hey, no one's getting. No one's getting fired. Everyone's no, here. Yeah. Everyone yes. is here. So it's That's awesome. Good. I am here. Welcome to the iconic and one and only episode. 69. Nice. Of the Level Unlock podcast. It's been a while. Yes, around. you heard it here right. <laughs> you heard right. <laughs> nice. It's funny because it's a guys. sex number. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Oh, what? You guys have stuck with this for a long time. Wow. Yeah. Yes, yes. Episode 69. Nice. The end of our amazing run as the, po- well, the Level Unlock podcast. Mm-hmm. Only downhill from here, boys. So yeah. might as well end where we're on top. So let's. uh Let's make this a good episode, shall we? Before uh, the bottom. <laughs> I was waiting for someone. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Thank you to everyone out there currently sitting at our 5,770 followers on Podbean. It's unheard of, oh, and it's absolutely amazing. You guys are the absolute best, and we <laughs> thank you for uh, spending every Sunday or whenever you listen to this throughout the week with us here. Uh, if you want to be a part of the Level Unlocked Nation, the Lockpick Nation, you can do so at Level Unlocked Podcast. That's not the website. It is patreon.com slash Level Unlocked Podcast. There we go. Um, where you can join us, help us grow the channel, uh, even though we're ending after today, but you can still help us grow because you never know. Uh, Level Unlocked Season 2 coming up. Yeah, who, know, who, know, who knows what will happen? So the Golden Age Six arc. per season. Yeah. yeah. So the golden age is coming coming to you, but uh, let's get into it, shall we, boys? Let's uh, go around the horn. Let's start with Mister uh, Mister Schroeder. He kind of had a big weekend. Yeah, yeah, what's fun up, man? little weekend. Mm-hmm. Hey, How what's you up, been? guys? How you feeling? And what's up, dude? Ah, uh, pretty good. It's been a bit of a crazy month, but um, staying busy. Actually, just got back from a camping trip not not a few hours ago. Um, nice. We kayaked. The course of about 40 miles, um, about probably about 50. Uh, well, yeah, close to 20 each day. So we kayaked halfway and then camped and then finished. And it was lovely. We saw all kinds of nature, a lot of mud, a lot of falling yeah. in the mud, actually. Um, Did you fall in the mud? Yeah, but I didn't tip times? the kayak over at all. That's, That's good. good. Did someone else? That might have happened. <laughs> that may have happened. That may I have happened. I plead the fifth. Can I confirm yeah. or deny these allegations? <clears throat> right. Nice. But it was a good time. There was actually at one point there was sitting like legitimately like 25 people with canoes wow. all in our group just working our way down the river. It was it was pretty nuts. That's awesome. and, That's uh, so relaxing too. Just It's just very down. relaxing until you get – to an island and you're the one in the front and you're just like dozed and daydreaming and just kind of just being lazy because you're in the front yeah you're just taking in all of the nature because you worked really hard to get in front of everybody so you can stop while they catch up and (laughs) and then that's when they all that's when they all yell go left and you look to your right (laughs) or you look to your left and you have about two seconds to move your ass because the water when it's going down the creek and it hits an island it you know it shoots around the sides of the island so if you're not sitting in the right place at the right time you're getting sucked down the other side that happened oh. I act by myself for a little bit it was beautiful <laughs> it actually shot me out way in front of them and like so I'm going and the, the group split up and um so a bunch of them are ahead, and then I just got split up for my group. So I'm paddling, and there was a lovely family. It was actually really nice going down that side of the river because um, it's always going to meet up, right? And uh, yep. But I get out, and apparently that motherfucker warp drove me through nature because <laughs> when I finally get to the big area where I can see them and them – I'm right directly in the center, and my eyes are bad, so I can't tell. Are those? Because that dude, there was like a billion people out today kayaking. <laughs> there really was. There was a mil- there was tons of people. So I didn't know if that was my group ahead of me, 
or if that was my group behind me. <laughs> so I just started paddling like crazy. And then then I, I'm like, hark, what was that sound? And it was Aimright yelling, pull over. Literally, these rivers are moving so fast that if you have to turn around and try to go up it, it's it's very right. difficult to do that. <laughs> and, of course, where he's telling me to go left is directly in front of me. Like, Because, of course, I can't seem to keep the kayak going in a straight line. It's constantly going sideways down the river. <laughs> so, You're drifting. It happened perpetual, both times, yeah. Perpetual water drift. Yep. But, uh... So it was nice, though. It was a pretty good... It was a nice adventure. I got sunburn on my face right here. I don't know why I didn't get it over here, because I was... Because I was going sideways down the river. It all makes sense. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> you figure it would be the whole face. No, it's just the side that was constantly... Uh, in the sun. <laughs> yeah. Oof. Yeah, but it That's was fun. Funny. I had a blast. I cannot wait to do it again, and I'm totally buying a kayak, because Aim right, let me borrow his. Do it. I'm totally getting one. Next time, totally. if I'm a little bit more, if I'm a little bit more no noticed, I'm definitely coming with y'all because I, I got bro, like two of them. I know he's like, I'm like, bro, I want to buy this off you. He's like, well, I don't have any problems with selling it to you, but since you've used it, you <clears> might <throat> want to think about getting like a bigger one or like, do you really want this one or do you want to look around first? I'm like, that's why you're the man. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you make yeah, big bucks. You're a thing. I, re I recommend a Potomac. Potomacs are nice. Uh, uh, a kayak. Nice company. That Potomac, it's a company. Yeah. yeah. I'll send you. Yeah. I'll send you. I'll send you the name. Oh yeah, the idea of buying a brand new one is not. That's not going to happen. But I will keep my eyes open for a nice used one. So they think they're like one fifty. Yeah, because they're usually like well, they can go really high in price, mm -hmm. but on oh, yeah. average, it appears most things in like mediocre professional like. Not the cheap ship, but not the amazing stuff. It's almost everything's about three hundred and fifty bucks. Yeah, I noticed that when I looked. It depends Some when you go them. to Dick's. Uh, I worked at Dick's, so like there's a, there's times where you'll find a hell of good sales that are like one twenty five, one fifty, two hundred. Like hmm. that's when I got mine at least. I got mine for one fifty. I got two of them for three hundred dollars. Right now, it may be a little rough <clears> because <throat> of the time of the year. You gotta think mm -hmm. of the stipulations well, of the year, though. Yeah, that's I'm true. Not yeah, that's very true. But that's so awesome. at the end yeah. of the season, that's oh, usually yeah. when they clear. They want to get rid of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah, it was definitely a, a a really good time. I can't wait to go again. I can go uh, kayaking for like a month and a half down the side of a mountain when the snow melts uh, for like a day, and then the <laughs> river's gone and it's all sand and rocks. <laughs> I like how you said. I like how you said that you can go kayaking down the side of a mountain for like a month a and a month. half to do it for a day and then it turns into <laughs> yeah <laughs> sand and dust hey time here goes differently okay there's no daylight savings <laughs> time so <laughs> yeah imagine imagine it's what different but imagine if you had daylight savings time man you'd be in like the yeah. past you'd be like yeah. 13 years behind us <laughs> it'd be interesting for sure yeah, kayaking, that's, really that's, a, that's, a, that's a hidden gem if you can find some place around here. There is places. There is, like, oasises and stuff up by Phoenix and shit um, that you can go to and uh, um, find late, little lakes, but they're all man-made lakes. But nevertheless, anything else, Schroeder? I mean, other than that, not too much. I actually haven't been doing much gaming this week at all. <laughs> yeah, it's good, uh, I've been staying good busy outside time. of that. Yeah. Trying to. Trying to. Nice. <laughs> Not what are you, Nate? Yeah, Nate, what have you been up to? Yeah, do? Have you, are you done? Did you finish up? Uh, pretty much. Um, Yeah, I haven't really done a whole lot other than that. Just kind of working around the house and did a couple odd jobs for Granddad. And, Granddad? You know, other than that, not a whole lot. Uh, putts with the server a little bit. But okay. The That's GTA right. server. Yeah, I... What are you, hmm? you doing on that? I put some notes in the thing, the last stuff I've been working on. Yeah, what well, some uh, was it last week? Like Monday or Tuesday? <laughs> like there was a decent amount of people on, wasn't there? Mm hmm. Yeah, we've been getting little groups of them out at a time that are pretty, yeah. pretty much up. Yeah, I, th I think that was like well, Tuesday, Wednesday, or whatever. A bunch of people are on. Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I talked to a bunch of people about it at the um, 
at the camp trip too because at one point we had like 26 people cruising down the river at a time it was amazing i got some dope pictures that's awesome eagles cheetah in the wilderness all kinds of stuff even though cheetahs <laughs> were in the yeah <laughs> wow. i don't know cheetahs were in this side of the country but <laughs> oh yeah they're there <laughs> Yeah, there, one was eating a bag of chips. I couldn't believe it. Shit. <laughs> was it was it eating some Cheetos? Can you confirm? Surprisingly, no. He was eating um, Wegman's branded um, barbecue barbecue oh. kettle chips. Oh, oh. nice. Yeah. See, that's a good nice choice. There. Good choice. Right, right. Let me try a couple. It was pretty good, and then made a <laughs> oh, sound that I just was like, right, I'm done. You can have the rest of them. I don't want them. They're all yours, bro. <laughs> For scurrying away. Speaking of uh, camping, there was uh, a black bear in the middle of Erie. It's like you guys are in the wilderness. It's changing. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. A black was bear on, was? Yep. Yeah, it was on 25th Street. Like, it's like right next to Mark's and Hayes' house. Like in the middle of the city. Black bears are no joke. That's wild. <laughs> well, what was it? What was what it cool, you know what? You're absolutely correct. That is wild what? <laughs> uh, wasn't it like was it last year or like two years ago that there was that black bear over at like right by work in that little little oh, yeah, valley there was. yeah well that yeah. was last year the yeah. mike, mike saw it yeah someone took a picture of it i think remember that there was a deer hanging out there yesterday that was pretty cool yeah, he was just laying down cool. chilling probably got hit by a car later but you know oh, be what it do it do it be well, that area by Best Buy has way more woods. Like, you go across mm. the street, you have the whole wilderness behind Pinseltown and shit compared to fucking or, 25th Street. <laughs> yeah. Or even, like, right behind it on, uh, what is that, Hershey? Not Hershey. Yeah. 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 yeah all that, all that open area yeah. going towards Edinburgh. Yeah. You got all that. Yes. So, I can see a black bear being up there, but not in the fucking middle of downtown area. <laughs> You know how, much, yeah. how much like that person who found it in their backyard probably shit their pants when they opened the yeah. door yeah <laughs> apparently it was climbed up into a tree so like, really i'm curious how they found it it was like <laughs> wow walked outside was out smoking a cigarette like mowing the grass or some shit they look up and they see a massive ass fucking bear like i was not gay walked away aerial <laughs> assassination it's like this mask isn't gonna help me here <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that would be some shit. Just fucking casually walking, some college kid. I just graduated. Yeah. Fucking look up. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> fucking run. But don't do that. If you ever uh, uh, going against a bear, you don't run. Stay yeah, you run and yell. Him. Yep. And you run at him. <laughs> yell. Don't. So that that we have. We have. Um. Uh, we are not professionals, however. You do all of that at your own risk. Hopefully, you never have to put yourself in that situation where you need to attempt that. Exactly. So that's what I would do. So I would. Wait, I thought you were supposed to play dead with bears. That's if they're attacking you. Uh... But if they're just like, what up, dude? If you yeah. make yourself look threatening, like if they're like, dude, bro, like pretend you bro, just took a bunch to... of like bath salts, a bunch of them. Or just take a bunch of bath salts. That works too. What could go and wrong? Just wrestle it. You yeah, just so wrestle it. Smoke like a little if it's fentanyl. running towards you, you're supposed to run towards it, and like, ah, and like scream at the top of your lungs. Now, you're supposed to run away. So more like Hail yeah, Highlander and less like, yeah. you know, like Baywatch. Yeah. yeah. My it's grandfather tough. has a camp uh, up in uh, the Warren area, so almost the kind of area that you were in, um, the Kane Warren area, uh, hmm. Kenzu, and um, with ten minutes after being there, our shit wasn't even unpacked. It was just a Huge ass black bear walking up the road. <laughs> Damn. No joke. Everyone's like, I get inside, get inside. My mom was freaking out. That's yeah, enough then, of this. Natives that are there are just like, oh, okay. Yeah. Then, Damn, then you look at bear. like, then you look at Russia. You look at Russia and you just see videos of just people just going up to bears and being like, "Sup?" Yeah, they don't have dogs; they have bears. Yeah, yeah. They just like sit down. They're sitting at a bench. A bear walks up to them. Dude starts feeding them an apple, and the bear's being the super house. gentle about grabbing the apple. The and house cat is a liger. Went into the woods like across from the camp, and I kept trying to get my family to go on hikes in that area, but no one would. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because there's a fucking bear there. Perfect a bear was sighted. Here, honey. Yeah. 
like, hey, I just want to take a stroll. But like, well, there's plenty more paths, but, but I think this path would be best. What the fuck's going on with our stream? Yeah, what's happening? Going all crazy. Is it? James so powerful. left and came back. Oh, yeah, no, that was just my, my, my shit was acting weird. I just... I got you. Yeah, I just turned off my camera, turned it back on. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, anything else, Rhodes? No? Nate, no, how about you, really? Man? Uh, nothing really. I bought myself a new toy, but I'll talk about that in a second. Um, played some For Honor with James yeah, up here. Yeah, did. That's been fun. That, honestly, we did really fucking well. We did. For, for a just guy, hopping back into that game. For a guy who hasn't played it since before launch, right. I think I did like, pretty well. No, yeah, we fucking, we annihilated pretty hard. Like, we only lost, like, three out of our, like, eight games we had played, I want to say. And when it was 2v2, we... We lost the Dominion pretty hard. Oh, yeah, that was that was rough. Let's be honest. I think we weren't great, but our team was worse than us. The ones we had won, we did. We all did really well. But um, <clears throat> other than that, I played Siege. I am almost, I'm like, eh, I'm like not eight, eh, 60, 70% through my new game plus code vein. Uh, so I've almost finished with that. I finally got through the, t the fucking cathedral. The cathedral is my least favorite map about that. That's my least favorite thing about that game. I hate that map. Um, other than that, the thing I was talking about you earlier, I was talking to you guys earlier, is anyone... Ah, fuck! Jesus exactly. Christ. You are a mess right now. You're I mean, I broke the two of these pretty fast. Like, I, I mean, I'm not... Fucking I'm wreck. fine, but... You know, there's, there's a lot of this, they're drinking claws, but there's laws. Oh, you the got a Pixel 3A? I did. 3XLA? They are on a retarded. Yeah, they're good really sale. they're on a really good sale. The sale these guys are on, like if anyone's looking for a phone, I know that Schroeder just got one, but like Mark, if you're looking for a phone and you don't want to spend money, this is on a dumb good sale. And Very I was nice. like, you know How what? Much? Uh about I think they're two seventy. Is that for the sixty four or one twenty that's probably a sixty four, right? Sixty four. Mm. Okay. So more than what I have. I have a picture too. Yeah, my stuff's mainly cloud, so I don't care. Um, but, um, yeah. No, I've been playing with this, and I decided to get this purely due to the fact that me and one of my coworkers, everyone here knows who Dom is, but uh, we've always been talking about this, because every now and then I'll be like, well, I'm thinking about going to Android. He's like, nah, get the fuck out of here. You're not actually going to do it. And he's right. My daily driver is still going to be my iPhone, just because I like iPhone. However... I really, really wanted something I could fuck with and like, like play with and mal mal that is malleable. <laughs> that's the wording I'm looking for. I know that but, seems um, pretty sturdy to me. Something I can kind of make my own, and I don't want to jailbreak these guys because I, I just I want this to be what it's supposed to be. And for this guy, I'm gonna fully take advantage of. And Trevor told me how I can do like. A bunch of different things with it because like he's a really good he's a person that like knows a lot and he's done a lot of like rooting and shit like he knows all that stuff um but how the other thing i was looking really looking into is i'm willing to start learning how to do like apps and shit i want to start like trying to figure out how to like do developer like developing and i was playing with a lot of the features today and i was learning what how to like kind of see how all the boxes fit into each other and I don't remember what the t actual thing was called, but like it pulled up all the lines that are actually in your mm. phone, how everything mm. kind of fits with itself. It's so interesting. Uh, and that I used it. Uh, yeah, that developer mode's pretty neat. It's it's a lot. <laughs> there's there's a lot in there that I wasn't prepared for, but um, I, you, you I, I want to start like messing with apps. You want to you you want to induce <laughs> epileptic shock. Turn on the feature oh. where the screen flashes every time the screen yeah, updates. I think it's it show screen updates. Yeah, if I remember correctly. Yeah, oh. it just flashes. It's like a strobe light. Jesus. So yeah, like I was looking into that, and then like I was playing around and I found like how to see what it's gonna what your what the stuff's gonna look like if you have a notch or a tall notch or a mm -hmm. hole punch. Like that's so that's so neat. Like this probably really is an interesting content, but like, I think it's so cool. And I've, that's the one reason I've been consistently saying, like, I want an Android. I need to get an Android to play with. And another thing is Schroeder's idea had popped into my head. I probably spent a little bit more than I had to for this, but, like, that's only a small feature. I'm going to use this to entirely run, like, when I start streaming again, this is going to be everything. This is going to run all that little shit. 
Nice. So I need to ask you Very exactly handy. how you're doing all that and what the app is and all that stuff, but we'll okay. get into that later because <clears throat> I need to learn that shit. But yeah, I've been playing with this. Uh, controller, right? <clears throat> There's yeah, that, but I need, I need to learn that uh, that emotes thing that he was talking uh, about. How you have a stream deck kind of thing? Oh, you'll be able, just yeah, yeah. Just download the Streamlabs controller. You'll be able to. You'll look at it and be like, <laughs> "This is the same." Oh, this is the same thing. You'll figure it out. I promise you. I don't need to just do it, and you'll be like, "Oh, this is silly. This is really." See, I downloaded that on here, but I don't know. Maybe it's like easier on Android. I don't know. Um, other than that, oh, yeah, I'm super easy. learning how to like make apps and stuff because apparently. I had learned that Androids and iPhones are all based on some kind of Linux or iPhones are more or less usually Unix and um, that I, uh, Androids are like all like Java based from what I had heard. And apparently it's not that hard. It's a good starting point to start learning how to do all that good stuff. Um, Mark probably knows way more about that shit than I'm. I'm probably saying things wrong. I don't know. But, um, but no, like I want to learn how to build apps and that's one of the main reasons I had gotten this is I think it's a good place for me to kind of putz around, around, for lack of a better know. word. Yeah. Uh, but Hang yeah. out with me too long. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fucking, other than that, man, I have not been doing a lot. Uh, as I said, Ferrari's been a lot of fun, even though we played one night. Like, we did a lot. We played a lot of matches we that did. night. That was a really good time. Yeah, we I we, heavily we, recommend, like, it's $3. I recommend you guys get it. What the fuck are you doing, Walker? Taking selfies. We can't hear you, but you're fucking wilding over there. He's goddamn crying, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Don't mind me. All right. Anyhow. No, no, because you're distracting the class. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to find something. Like I keep trying to talk, and like out of the corner of my eye, I see this man like popping his eyes out of his head. Like, oh my. All right. Anyhow. Yeah, I've just been kind of hanging out. Ah. Uh, I bought a new chair that should be here between this coming week and August because I bought I bought a pricey chair. Here's here's the reason I had bought in a pricey chair. I wasn't going to. I, you bought I, one of those I, Omegas? I bought a Titan XL, but I'll get to how I got there. Um, I was going to get an Omega. Then I'm like, well, there's the Titan. Then I looked at the Titan. I'm like, well, there's the XL. And I'm like, fuck. But um, I'll tell you how that got to this logic is I had bought a chair. I'd bought a chair from work. It was an Arazi chair. I was so far past displeased. And there were so many things wrong with it. I was missing a screw. I couldn't finish putting it together properly. I sat on it. It tilted to the left. It felt like I was going to fall out of the chair. There were just a slew of problems. And it felt like I was sitting on cardboard. It was terrible. It was a bad time. <clears throat> so I spent X amount there. It was low. It was, it was a cheap chair. Can you stop setting off fireworks? Oh, no, I hear oh, it too. It's Memorial Day. No, it's not Memorial Day It's not Day yet. yet. <laughs> I, got two and a half, I got an hour and a half. But anyway, um, yeah, I had I, had, I went to the low end of chairs, and I'm like, all right, I should be fine. Like, all the chairs are pretty much the same. Boy, was I wrong. I mean, I don't um, think that's the low end of chairs. I mean, you could have used, like, I don't know, one of those shitty plastic ones for, like, outdoors. I went to the low end of racer chairs. There we go. <clears throat> and as I had previously stated, boy, was I wrong. So... I'm, I'm looking, I spent about three hours researching and nah, I, I'd say about almost four hours because I put it together, took it apart, got really mad, sat on my, sat on my floor, had talked to my girlfriend a little bit because I got really mad. So I needed something to like get my mind off of it. And then I watched Failure to Launch, which I mind you, if you haven't seen that movie, great movie. Failure to Launch is fantastic. It's McConaughey, um, Bradley Cooper, and... Doug from The Hangover. I never remember his name, but uh, he's great too. Um, that's so a good Alan movie. Mackis. No, I just said Doug, not oh, Alan. <laughs> they are two abstractly different characters. Anyway, <laughs> um, but yeah, that was a great movie. So I finished watching that, looked at my phone, started looking at chairs. I said, why am I looking at this on my phone? I got on the computer. 
I used both of my monitors. I looked at videos on my main monitor, scrolled through a bunch of pages on this monitor, and I just searched for like a couple hours. And then I landed on Secret Labs because I was going to get a Noble chair. I was like, Noble seems really dope. I like them. They're from the UK. They're super cool looking. They have like, this really dope diamond stitching. And then I watched a video and I'm like, that seems a little short. I want something tall. I want something that's like, I sit in and I'm in a fucking throne type shit. All right. So, and then after watching a couple of videos, talking to a couple of people who own Secret Labs, I decided, all right, I'm going to get a Secret Labs chair. Because if I'm going to get a chair, I don't want to have to get a new one in two or three years. I want this bitch to last me five, six, seven years if possible. You want to die in this chair. I want to die in this fucking chair. I'm not getting any taller. Real, real, theoretically speaking, because technically I could just spurt before 25, but that's unlikely. It won't happen. Trust me. It's it's still technically Mm -hmm. a genetic possibility. My father had grown at 23. My father had grown another three inches. Um, my, my dad's a, my father's a tall man and an extra uh, nipple I, I hope that doesn't um, I don't need the triforce on my chest but uh, <laughs> um, what had happened <laughs> is no. good she's so cute she just got Whitney I guess she's a cool character in a game on uh, Animal Crossing <laughs> anyhow um, I'm glad you're excited anyway so what had happened was I sat there, I watched a couple of videos, I looked at the Titan versus the Titan XL. And I'm like, I could just get the Titan, I should be fine. And then my buddy is like, I have the Titan, my head fits on there just perfectly. I'm like, eh, I don't want that. I want room for error. So I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna spend the extra 30 bucks, I'm gonna get the XL. Cause at this point, what's an extra 30 bucks? The, Titan's a, the Titan itself is priced, the XL is $30 more. Um, I don't really want to get into the pricing in the World Wide Web because I don't want to sound like that guy. So I'm just not going to talk about it. If you want to check it out and you want to see what it costs, go look at it. Hashtag um, humble flex. I, I, I try, Mike, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it, it, it's, it's not a cheap date. So I sit there. I contemplate for about an hour and a half looking at just this chair, going through tons of videos, and it turns out to be the chair I want. So Quick now, question: Is it less yeah. than a thousand dollars? Oh yeah. Okay, that's that. That was the question I was wondering. No, I I don't think I could ever fathom spending the price of my computer setup on a chair. It's like the Walker sitting in. I know is new around like thirteen hundred bucks. Like Wait, I was looking what? into those because they're posture. Yeah, he has a Herman Miller chair, which is like oh, a okay. really yeah. expensive chair. Yeah, they're like really nice. Thirteen, fourteen hundred dollar chairs new, so you got, like pretty much have to get them used if you want to yeah. spend less than a thousand bucks. There was someone I was watching that uh, someone had record. It's, it's this British dude who was actually reviewing the, the the lower model, the Titan of what I was getting, and someone recommended get a Herman Miller chair. It's the greatest posture chair, and he's like, "Why the fuck would I ever pay thirteen hundred dollars for a?" Fucking ch- he used a quite a few other choice words in there, but he was not happy about it that someone's <laughs> told him to get this expensive chair. Um, so you know, just because the questions out there, I it was plus four hundred. Um, so it's not that bad, price. but like, <clears throat> huh? Yeah, he knows. I, I know the price of it. I, yeah, I, I got the cookies and cream edition of the Titan XL, and it looks like a beautiful chair. I'm very excited. My biggest thing, the reason I took so long, and I've been droning on about a chair for a while, so sorry if this isn't entertaining for anybody, but it's part of my week, so I'm talking about it. (laughs) My biggest thing for the chair was, in this one, my neck hurts a lot, and I have to sit up and hunch over like this. I need something that can keep me straight, and if I want to lean back, I can lean and not have my head go on this fucking angle because it hurts. So I need something that like takes my head, and I can just lean back, and it's right there for me. So the XL... Uh, my but our buddy Trevor, everyone here knows Trevor. He has the Titan, and it fits him just perfectly. And he's about two and a half inches shorter than I am. And this, the chair that I'm getting, and not this, I don't know if I'm pointing at this, but uh, it fits up to six ten, I believe, uh, almost perfectly six ten. It's a little, it's a little bit lower on the six ten area, but where I'm going to be sitting, this is going to go to a, probably about here on me, and that's exactly where I had wanted it, because I want to be able to fucking crank my shit back while I'm trying to watch some movies or something on here. Because I actually don't use my TV all that much, surprisingly enough, which is 
why I'm kind of looking at getting rid of my TV and getting a slightly smaller one because I don't need that taking up all that space. But uh, anyhow, I want to be don't... able to just listen and relax in this chair. Just don't like, break it and Spartan kick the top <laughs> off of it because you're pissed that it broke like I did. <laughs> I don't think I could ever fathomably do that to something that costs me this much. And I, I mind you, I'm not a very wealthy man. So I only My got this chair happy. <laughs> because <laughs> I only got this chair because Secret Labs has a, what's a firm, which is kind of like credit, but it's way less intrusive. It's just pay as you go, which is pretty dope. That works. So like I'm able to do this for over the course of six months and pay a little bit over time because I would not, I don't think I could ever rationally drop X amount on a chair right then and there. Yeah. But yeah, that's the pretty much all I did this week. I spent a lot of time looking at you. Yeah, something I can't sit in yet for at, at least this long. next coming week or August. Because apparently, uh, what me and Trevor had landed on is it's not really in pre order, but the fact that they're doing it in waves, uh, the assumption is they probably had to stop like production. So it's, let's get these out, cut it. Then let's have another wave. As soon as that wave's finished, we'll make them and then send them out, kind of thing. Because obviously, Dave had to have it. But yeah, that's my week. Someone else go. I droned on for a while. No, you're good. Yeah, my wife wasn't happy. She's like, you know how much I spent on that chair? Like, well, it's not my fault it fucking broke. What else was to do with it? And she's like, fix it. No, I you broke it more. That bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I straight Spartan kicked that bitch the backward off it. I stood up, fuck you, chair. Boom! Fucking dick. You showed it. I wasn't happy. Eat dick chair. <laughs> that'll show. Nah, that, that'll show. I'm you. the king. I'll fucking dare you break. <laughs> yeah, fuck that chair. <laughs> fuck that. Um, I'll go really quick because that's cool. I don't yeah, got much. I guess. Um, bitch. What canceled on you this week? Actually, surprisingly, nothing. Uh, we uh, we did uh, today rebook Hawaii, so that's good. So that's nice. back in motion. Still waiting on to be able to reschedule Havasu Falls. They're doing one day at a time. And mine's not until the uh, 23rd, but they're only rescheduling nine days beforehand. It's like people come from all over the country to go to these falls. Yeah, they're only they're only doing nine days in advance. Like that's pissed fun, yeah. people. Like there's people that talk about how they're coming from Maine. That's Jeez. like really fucked. Like how how mad would you be? If like, hey, yeah, I'm coming from Maine. I got nine days to try to figure out if I'm going to this place or not. That's not, that's unreal. Um, so Hawaii is back in motion. Um, nice. So that's always a plus. Um, Mister. Uh, uh, Jeffrey Ryan, our uh, Patreon, uh, he messaged our uh, Facebook account. So he was um, up in Michigan. It's on a peninsula. And he saw a bridge, and he stopped and took a picture. And this is on the bridge. What? <laughs> it says Captain Geese. That's cool. <laughs> he was like, you didn't happen to be in Michigan. Were you? <laughs> I was like, no, why? And I saw it. I was like, that's fucking awesome. <laughs> He's on the chat right now. You too, man, by the way, if you're not on anymore, have a good Memorial Day. Thank you for being a part of this. Uh, yeah. Part of the stream, part of the podcast, man. The, uh, the inaugural Patreon. So thank you very much. Um, if you're still here, man. Uh, and other than that, me and Mark played a decent amount of Apex Legends. Um, we got second like five times so far. So yeah. I get we're getting there. Getting but... there. It's just really disappointing. Yeah. <laughs> so Sometimes... so close so many times. Yep. If anybody wants uh um uh to join, be the third. Um oh and he said he's cool with uh, the Patreon names, whatever uh um whatever you want. He says he'll keep pondering though if he thinks of one. The uh, lock pickers and everything. I just saw I just read his comment. <laughs> So, um, he also said that next time he plays Sea of Thieves, to message him. So he's oh, down. Yeah. He's down to play. We also Good did shit. play that this week. Yeah, we did. Oh my god, dude, that was such. Uh, and you such guys didn't fucking... tell me. I'm glad that nobody joined us. Yeah, no, it was a fucking shit show. It was. It was brutal. 
It was fucking bad. Uh, it was, remember, remember when we played James and we our, our, we lost all of our shit? Yeah. Like, yeah, that happened to me yeah, and Mark, I wanted like, four to times. punch my fucking TV. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's like every exactly. time we got to a new ship, we would just run into somebody and then oh. we would get PvP'd like immediately and then our ship would Ooh. just sink. And it was like, yeah. okay, this was... This was fun. I think we're we're done here. Yeah, I we think... fucking fought like two, three ghost ships, got all the loot from it, and then someone came up and fucking just annihilated our ship, sunk it. I think <sighs> they should <laughs> I think they should add like um PvE server where it's you all you do is just fight kinda of like with MMOs Skeletons where shit. Yeah. Where you fight that, like there's other people running around, but like you can't Unless, like, you say, hey, I want to fight you, and the other person goes, yeah, sure, let's fight. In a game yeah, that like was... that, I feel like a handshake PvP should kind of be a thing, yeah. or at least there should be separate servers. Yeah, and we were just casually playing, too, and this fucking boat just literally, like, out of nowhere, just rolled up on us and just fucking annihilated our ship. Yeah, we and thought then... it was a ghost ship for a while, and mm. then they just kept coming. Yeah, it was fucking... Yeah, we... I think our boat... Like three different instances, it was just like, okay, this is fucking stupid. Like, yeah, I think we're done for the night. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so yeah, that was that was rough. That was uh, probably the worst time that we've had. Because usually, me and Mark, when, when like, uh, we've had some fucking really good loot nights. Same with me and me and you, James. But yeah, that that was probably the the shit, the shittiest out of all of them. <laughs> but definitely. That's, I uh, played more Final Fantasy. Didn't didn't stream it though. I just sat downstairs on Friday and played it. Okay, so um, where are you in it? I just fell through the sky into the church. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! I've only played it. I've only this is only the third time, fourth time I played it. If that, yeah, I'm super. I'm I fucking think you've behind. watched you've watched my stream longer than I've than you've actually played the game. Yeah, yeah, I really have, and I don't know why. The game that you've been but, super hyped for, yeah, for I'm years. Really disappointed in myself, I really am. I'm really disappointed in my life for not doing that. But I yeah, love the I, game. It's, what'd you say, Shreds? Says you got it, man. You just gotta be like Nike and just do it. I know, right? Yeah, I, I, I need to. I, I, I um, I was gonna play it last night, but then we got sucked into um Apex, and then me trying to fucking play other games. <laughs> Didn't end up pondering out, so I'm just like, "Fuck! I'm gonna watch Big Bang Theory." Oh, oh I've been watching that. I'm sorry. Why I don't why why I picked that show, I have no idea. But, but that's pretty much my week. Uh, nothing too uh, nothing too special. Work tomorrow, and hopefully it's slow as shit because no one realizes we're open. So, knock on wood. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mark, how about you, man? Uh, my week hasn't been too crazy. Uh, just the working a bunch I played some animal crossing uh so was able to box in one of my villagers that nice. pissed me off so they don't have to talk to me which uh which villager <laughs> her name is like hip crux or something oh i know who you're talking about i don't know she's a bitch so she got fenced into her house and i hope she leaves soon but we'll you, see when that happens you could just tell isabel that you don't like her yeah it just resets them it doesn't do anything oh uh, okay I didn't know that. Yeah, like it just resets their personality traits or whatever. So um, they'll, they'll still be there. You just kind of have to ignore them and they'll eventually leave. Supposedly. Those... He's <laughs> gotten such a bad taste in his mouth over this fucking bitch that he doesn't even want her on the island. We can reprogram her, but no. <laughs> the memories yeah. are still there. Right back over Trump's wall. I'd rather have the land, you know. Like we need a new villager instead of this you're hippo gonna, cow. You gonna spend a thousand dollars to get Raymond? <laughs> no. You gonna buy Raymond off of eBay? I remember reading about that. Yeah. <laughs> and now everyone what hates are those him. things that you can buy on Sunday mornings? Turnips. 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 Oh yeah. Oh. My wife wanted oh. me to yell at you. He was like, "Where the fuck is James at? Why can't I buy any turnips?" It was like an hour ago. Like he told you, you have to do it in the morning. Yeah. And he was like, well, what the fuck, James? 5 a.m. Like... To, min- <laughs> to noon. Yo, I bought my turnips about 300. I think it was like 341,000 bells worth. Jesus. You guys are exploiting the system somehow, aren't you? No, man. Not exploiting. <laughs> I'm not exploiting the system. I'm I'm playing the stock market. It's a feature in the go. game. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yo, all Actually, I'm saying is, if, if they didn't want me to exploit it, they shouldn't have put it in. Exactly. It's just like the fruit embar- er, smuggling. Yeah. Just like the fruit smuggling. Sure. Sorry, go ahead. Yes. Yeah, I've <laughs> been playing a shit ton of Animal Crossing because that takes up time. Uh, Mark, did, also you get all the, up hand... did you get all the stamps? I haven't. Uh, I haven't done that at all. Oh, you, all you do is just go into each exhibit, and well, other than the art museum part, and then there's like three stamps, and you get some stuff. Gotcha. It's easy. It took me like ten minutes. Yeah, I, I just haven't really had the time to do it, to be honest. <laughs> um, I've been doing that. I picked up a, a few different games to also, you know. Uh, play in the in this time that we're stuck inside. I played a, a game called I Hate Running Backwards, where it's a uh, a hell shooter that oh. is kind of seri- serious Sam based. Oh, um, it's enemies and bosses and all that sort of shit, and you gotta you gotta kill them before they kill you, and you're stuck running backwards the entire time. Oh. Just um, like real life. <laughs> yeah, I got it on Steam on sale. I think it was like a dollar or two, and it's pretty good for you know picking up and playing for 15 20 minutes or however long Uh, i also picked up deep rock galactic and played that for a few hours it's definitely not bad i want to get back into it it looks really a lot of fun it looks like a phenomenal game like i i've I've, well i've played it and it's it's definitely fun the little bit that i've played but i feel like there's a lot more that i still have to explore Mm -hmm. so like there's a lot of like how do I put it? Pretty much all that I've done is just like gone into a mission and it's like, all right, find this resource. And you go through a randomly generated cave system and you find whatever resource you're trying to get and then you're getting attacked by like, I don't even really know what they are. They, they're they kind of like spiders. They're like the things from uh, uh, Starship Troopers. Like those oh, kind of yeah. things. The fucking, fucking the... crawly ass dudes. Yeah. Or the, the guys with big feet that just fucking go everywhere. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, or the, the big bugs. They, they kind of look like that. Um, but it has a really cool balance between action and mining and like exploration. It's really entertaining, at least in that aspect. Um, but uh, I just have to play it a bit more to get more of a, a solid review behind it. <laughs> Uh, I'm playing some uh, Rocket League, and then I also played uh, a game called Warface today. Oh, I <laughs> saw you were playing that. That is a. How is that? What do you think of Warface? Uh, yeah, it would be great if we had a group of us playing it. Okay. My biggest issue is that you can't go through like the single player or a campaign or anything like that by yourself. You have to have a group of people to play with. So, okay. Uh, you automatically get match made with other people and I haven't had any problems finding matches, but there are people that are really good at this game that just mm-hmm. rip through it. So I had I had tried that on PlayStation because it yeah, was there. Same. That's on like everything and it looks like it'd be a lot of fun, but I had the same issue as like, no issue finding matches, but like either people were absurdly good or the multiplayer, I just got dunked on every time. Yep. The gunplay, gunplay looked or plays really nice. The the game gameplay was really fun. It was just the the players getting or me getting dunked on pretty much all the time. But I was able to keep up for the most part. I got nice. my like second or third pretty much every time I played. So I was I was happy at least. Oh yeah. Uh, I feel as a group it would definitely be something fun to play. Like, oh yeah, it's free, isn't it? A, yeah, it's free, and then we can get private private matches for ourselves. No problem. Oh, yeah. yeah. So we'll have to take a look into it. It's made by yeah. uh, Crytek and whatever company took it over after that. I don't exactly remember, but would recommend taking a look into it if you're into tactical first-person shooters. Hell yeah. yeah I'll probably, probably, down, I'll probably download like it after this. Yeah, me too. It's not that big, is it? Uh, I think it was 26 gigs on PC. It's not bad. bad. For a shooter nowadays, that's not bad at all. Who was it that yeah, was saying like they spec had... Ops. Uh, uh, you have like spec ops, uh, but shit ton of multiplayer matches, a battle royale, uh, 
There's a lot of content in there for being free. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's my week. More than I ever talk. Let's Word, make, sir. Last but not least, nobody's else left. Okay, let's let's move on. All right, let's move on to the news. I'm just kidding. I love you, James. What's up, man? What's new? What's how you feeling? How's your wife and kids? Uh, wife and kids still don't exist. Good. Um, I bought a weed whacker today, so that was cool. <laughs> Oh, me oh. adulting. Yeah, uh, gonna do some weed whacking one of these days. Uh, I bought some mulch. <laughs> bought some gonna mulch. be gonna be gardening <laughs> here. Uh, planting planting some plants. Uh, fuck Epic Games with a burning passion for making okay. Civilization Six free. <laughs> uh the addiction is back. The civilization bug is back in me. I think I need to go to Have rehab. You it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I played it. I played a healthy amount of it today and last night. And it's it's good. It's, it, I like it a lot. <laughs> um stream Final Fantasy today. Final Fantasy 7. Um, you gotta be almost done with that game. Oh yeah, I'm pretty damn close. So, here's a little story. So <coughs> I'm I'm getting closer to the end, and a few of my friends who have already beaten the game are constantly asking me, "Hey man, where are you at? Where are you at in it?" One friend of mine, Ramon, as uh, you guys may know, was Ramon. like, "Hey, where are you? Where are you at?" I'm like, "Oh, I just entered the Shinra building." All right. And then he takes a long sigh. Let me tell you about Sephiroth. And I go, <laughs> okay. And he goes on to explain to me why the last the last two bosses of the game are bullshit. And they are the toughest fights in the game. Which is understandable. And I'm like, okay, can you give me a few tips? I'll text I'll text you I'll text you some tips when I get done with work. Okay. I then get later on in that evening, I get a what I would presume a novella size text message <laughs> <laughs> of strategies. And Locking. layouts, and what you need to do, <laughs> and how you beat these bosses. That's why he had to wait until after work. Yeah. <laughs> this dude probably spent a solid 15 to 20 minutes texting me this. Just typing <laughs> up the text message. Oh, that's fucking awesome. And I look at it, and my only response was, fuck. Fucking what? <laughs> <laughs> I've just been put, okay. <laughs> like what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> okay. Nice. I literally just okay. sent you fifteen paragraphs and I get a K. <laughs> nice. So I can honestly see myself doing that. But <laughs> he's making fun of wow. me because Cloud's my healer. What? I'm, he's he's making fun of that. I'm like, okay. Oh yeah, I'd make fun I've of you that too. I've already made that mis I've I'm sticking with it. Cloud is Cloud <laughs> is the healer. And he's going to be guys. the healer until I get Aerith back. It's like Barrett's the short range guy. Like, hey, hey, man, you can get <laughs> some of the weapons you get. One of them is the Wrecking Ball, and it's it's a melee weapon. Mm. There are two weapons in, in that he gets that just are just melee weapons. And I go, nope, get that out of here. Nope. That's not <laughs> Barrett. You know, Barrett has way higher magic than Cloud, right? Yeah. Well, not now. Not right now. My cloud spec well, to be magic. <laughs> Get the fuck out of yeah. here. He's my cloud. Not I my make... cloud. <laughs> Hashtag not my cloud. <laughs> I like it. Okay. Aerith, Unique. you're going to be DPS. Go go do something else. Fucking hilarious. Barrett, you're melee. Tifa, look hot in the corner. <laughs> Dodge tank. Just be the tank. There you go. Tifa's the tank. Um, it's still really good. 
Um, yeah, I spent this entire stream. I did fuck all <laughs> this stream. I spent like an hour, hour and a half, hour forty, just doing training missions in it, do just grinding out some side quest stuff, and it was great. It was fantastic. I love that game to death. I think oh, I'm enjoying it. I think I played RE3 this week. I can't remember. I might have played RE3 this week. So RE3... I know your stream says you might. Yeah, that was today. That's what it said okay. the past few days. One day yeah. I actually played RE3, Meg. One of these days. Well, like, I think it was sometime this week I played it. That's still really good. Um, it had this weird part in it where I'm inside of the... Um, Spencer Memorial Hospital and ba what, what you had to do is you had to go and get an antidote because Jill was infected you're playing as Carlos and you have to run back to Jill just stab the antivirus inside of her and she's like oh. hey I'm better <clears throat> well as you stab it in her the antivirus hey your buddy comes in he's like oh no we got a we got uh, zombies everywhere. Oh no, I gotta defend this area. Well, well, my buddy Ty Tyrell tip types on the computer and hacks the mainframe so he could close shutters to the window, and it turned into like a tower defense. Oh. It, I, you're stuck in the lobby of the hospital as waves and waves of zombies start pouring in. And I just look, I'm like, this is weird. This isn't, this wasn't in the original. This isn't in a Resident Evil. Yeah. It is. Uh, it, it, it brought me some good vibes from like Resident Evil 4, the uh, cabin scene with Lewis and uh, Leon. But it, it, it was fun. Hunters suck. Hunters are bitches. I fucking hate them. They're assholes. And I, I'm not a fan they just one shot you. There are times where they could just just claw your head right off. They're the weird like green frog looking things. They're not I fun. Got you, I got They're you. zero out of ten. Don't like them. They can go heck right off. Uh, played four on with Nate. Oh yeah. Games what about Crucible. Games great. Oh shit. We did play Crucible. That's right. I just, I just thought about that. So. Yeah. So I checked out this little game, and, and Nate did too, and Walker, you did for like half a second. <laughs> we checked out this game, a little game called Crucible. Now, we've covered this game on the podcast a few times. It's the game from Amazon, Amazon Game Studios. It was originally going to be like a MOBA, or not a MOBA. Uh, it was originally going to be a Battle Royale, then they changed it to a hero shooter. And I don't think it's a hero shooter, like at all. No. Nope. This is a fucking MOBA through and through. This is like this is a smite clone, except with shooty guns. I'd say it has a bit more freedom to move around. And oh yeah, yeah, no, it does. But it's it is. It's like a heavy it, third person MOBA. Yeah, think of Overwatch cross smite, and that's what you got. It's good. I enjoy it. As Mark put it, it looks like someone developed it. <laughs> it looks like a game. There are some things that are fucked up about it, though. Some things I are I remember bad. saying it looked like a Unity game. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, it kind of does. They probably did use Unity. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, There was... Well, one, the matchmaking can be weird at times. There have been times where it's like, oh, I've waited for five minutes to get into a game and it just boots me out because I can't find a game and it takes me back to the title screen. That's pretty neat and not infuriating at all. Um, there was this one time when I was streaming it, because I streamed it too. It Something happened, someone left, and someone, re and someone joined the match. And it's a 4v4 game. <clears throat> not this time 
because they decided to put the new player on the other team. So it was a 5v3. (laughs) What the hell? We got spanked. Like, it was a... It was a the dunk contest and we were the hoop we I think I was that Kia that Blake Griffin analogy. jumped over once good... um but no I really enjoy it I thought it's a lot of fun Nate did you enjoy it I had fun but for like the match I had played <laughs> I do want to play it again yeah. I genuinely enjoyed it I liked the character I played I think it's a lot of the things that I have to like figure out how to play better mm-hmm. but it's it's good I enjoy it I think it's it, it could definitely use some heavy polishing, but overall, for like a first shot, it's solid. It feels like a beta. It feels like it's an early access. It does. Walker, what did you think of it? I thought it was stupid as shit, but I just got to know how to oh. play it. Um, but no, it was just because I got fucking annihilated. I, I didn't know how to play it. But <laughs> yeah. if I probably figured it out, I probably would have liked it more. Um, Do you like only... MOBAs, though, is the question. Yeah, I had no problem with it. We only, okay. I only, we only played that one game, so that was half a game because we ended up quitting because the team was fucking ten times like they're like they're, five they're, levels they're, higher than us or something stupid. Yeah, leaps and bounds past our capabilities. So honestly, I can't judge it off of what. That's fair. Off of that, um, going off of that one match, yeah, I hated it because we just got fucking <laughs> whooped. <laughs> but no, like obviously, I just need to play more. We only we literally played it for at least i played it for at least it was like 10 minutes and then everyone got off yeah so like i don't have that was literally my experience with the game but yeah animations are cool <laughs> reminds me a lot of overwatch with the animations um mm-hmm. like the cartoony ishness of it so i think maybe something shorter you would like you would actually like um and uh same with mark um it's free for anyone who wants to try it. it's on steam so mm-hmm. But definitely, definitely, definitely try it. It, it is free. It's not this uh, Valorant bullshit where you got to stay on someone's stream for 18 hours to get a code. <laughs> yeah, you just got to stream and download. Yep. I, uh, so, I still don't... I still haven't played that game. Valorant, I, if, Valorant. if you've reset your computer and it's all good to go, I'll play with you. I reset it every day. It. You turn your, t- you turn your computer off once a day? Oh, yeah. Every every time I'm done using should, it, I shut should it off. Should I be doing that? Is it a thing? Should that be a thing that people do? Um, I, 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 mean, <laughs> you, you, I mean, you probably should turn it off. I mean, this thing doesn't really get turned off. It's you should major. at least restart it at times. Everyone yeah, really restart it when it pisses me off. Like but no, I, twice a week. That might be why yeah. it pisses you off. Yeah. Maybe. I turn mine off every night, but... I know, That's like right. Schroeder. I, I, I don't think Schroeder ever turns you. I don't think you ever turn yours off, do you? Yeah, I think so. Now my laptop, on my other, on the other hand, that shit never gets turned off. That's always yeah, on. Yeah, I do have a computer that I do have on pretty much all the time. Mm-hmm. So, that's fair. Good shit. Yeah, that was my anything week. else, James? No. Word. Well, good stuff. Let's uh, let's grind to some to some as news, shall we? Before we do that, uh, we should do a Patreon shout out. Yeah, yeah we should. Do that, man. Much uh, thanks. I, don't have names. I, I have it up right now, bud. Okay. Mad shout outs to Jeffrey, Jeff, and Morgan for your Patreon uh, subscription thing. For being patrons. There you go. For being patrons and being <laughs> lock pickers. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you all very, very, very much uh, for being part of our team. It is much appreciated, much love. And once again, if you do want to join, help us grow, help us thrive in the future, whatever podcast may come forth or whatever we may do or not do into the future, uh, patreon.com slash level unlock podcast. Uh, you can help us move I've, on and I've move forward. I finally uploaded the preamble from last week today. Nice. Like I just yeah. did. Yeah, there's multiple different tiers uh, that provide different things. Preamble where um, we just BS beforehand, and there's a lot of different stuff, stories that we like to write, articles, um, things along those lines, and maybe possibly a movie night uh, that uh, we don't know how we do, but we'll make it work. There was something else in mine and Nate's week. What did you guys do? 
Oh, we watched JoJo. Yeah, we watched JoJo. That was a movie. We watched a movie, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure: Diamond is Unbreakable, Chapter One. It was, it was, <laughs> it was a thing. End scene. So, mm, does anyone mind if we talk about this for a quick second or two? No, oh, go ahead. We have a podcast. Segue for this. into. I'll just do a real quick one. Okay. Segue into a quick uh, uh, anime, anime corner. corner here. Just really fast. If you want to hear like the unfiltered, unbridled conversation about these this movie and JoJo's as an entire series, because we're going to probably do a long haul real soon here. Probably gonna be like a two hour podcast. We're going to have to do just about JoJo's and then break that up into like half hours or whatever. Or, but anyway, the movie overall, I can't say was bad. I think it was well done for the most part. And I think the acting was fine. It's not going to win any award. It's not going to win any praise from me either. However, story beats. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Oh. If you're a JoJo's fan and you watch... So first of all, don't be a dirty, filthy pot part skipper. Make sure you're up to part four if you're going to watch this movie. But just be prepared. If you want to hear more about this, check our other one. Check Anime Corner. Last one we had was JoJo's Part 1 and 2. Nope. But, huh? Because I lost that, remember? Oh, we yeah, they it. died. That's right. The last one we had was Katsugeki Ron Beethoven. Was our first was one. terrible. Um, but, yeah. Keep an eye out on Anime Corner if you're a weeb like us. But yeah, that's that's all I'll say about that one. Hurtious. Getting some news. Uh, got some really quick... Uh, movie news. Uh, start with Netflix. Uh, Netflix. Uh, who has a Netflix account that doesn't use it? Anybody? Uh, d- d- define like use. Yeah. Like, hasn't been on it in a year. Oh no, I use. I've used it at least nope. once this year. Yeah. Okay. Uh, because starting today, if you have an act, if you have an active Netflix account that hasn't been used in one year. Netflix will auto cancel your <laughs> subscription, um, starting today. Uh, but that yes, that doesn't make sense though. That's a good thing. No, it's a good thing for the consumer, but bad thing for business. Because imagine um, how many, how much money they make from people who just forget, like me, who they have forget an account. to close out their account. <laughs> Got a new vape. One of the bigger reasons is because there's so many people. There is over. Uh, there, there. On the the brink of 15 million um, uh, active users within the last three months because of everything going on. So they're basically trying to free up capita in their servers by canceling accounts that haven't been used. So not that I don't, I don't think it really affects them that much. I don't think it would. But so, yeah, they're trying to take out of all the inactive accounts that aren't necessary because for one... That's but they are awesome necessary. on them because people are uh, paying for it and they shouldn't be. So thank, I guess that's also a thank you to them for doing that because obviously they don't have to. Yeah, no, that's very, that's very pro-consumer. But yeah. as a business move, it doesn't make yeah. sense. That's free money. <laughs> that's yeah, it really is. free money that they're getting. Uh, Back to the Future Part 3. Today is his 30th anniversary. Whoop, whoop. Hey, um, I know a lot of people that consider that one their their favorite one. Mm. Uh, that is uh, the third one. If you're not familiar, that is when they go back to 1885, um, where they're in the old old west, the wild west, the wild west. Uh, yes, turns 30 today, which is yeah. pretty cool. So happy birthday! Uh, last couple things that I have. Do you guys remember uh, Catwoman? Uh, no, it's not Catwoman. Batwoman, the TV show on CW that I've talked about a couple times, where like yeah. one girl yeah, is paralyzed or, now. Or, yeah, paralyzed. She's paralyzed. The main star, Ruby Rose, severed her spine. She didn't realize it. Um, so Ruby Rose has left the season after has left the show completely after one season. Um, she deemed in an interview that it is too dangerous to continue. Uh, so she is removing herself from the role, and there will be a new Bat uh, Batwoman for season two. 
So what? What, are they, what are they gonna do? Are they just gonna kill off that character and someone else be like, I no, I am Batwoman. What? And then there's just there's just a yeah. whole group of people just standing around together go, I am Batwoman, I am Batwoman, I am Batwoman. Stephen Amell and Grant Gustin have both been through crazy ass stunts. It, and but their team, I'm sorry to say it. But their team sounds way more competent than the people they have over on the Batgirl scene, on the, yep. on the Batgirl team. This, it's not that it's dangerous. It's just you don't have people that know what they're doing. And yep. Ruby Rose, great actress, she's awesome. But I don't think she, I don't think she's meant. Uh, she is good for this like high intensity era, uh, yep. the high intensity kind of uh, show. Like the girl who plays Supergirl, phenomenal, built for that role. Yep. I just don't think Ruby Rose is. I don't think she's made for that. I don't think she's gonna. She's very good at it. I don't know. Yep, I've never seen that girl. I've never sat down and watched it. But like, I know the girl from Supergirl. She's phenomenal. I love. Her. I know it's it's got it's got phenomenal reviews. The show did, but yeah, she's leaving, and then they will be having a new, um, a Batwoman cast in season two. I don't know how so, they're gonna portray it. That they're just gonna pretend like it didn't happen, or I don't know. Okay, so cons- uh, just. To, I'll be quick, but to kind Thank of fill you. in, because I I don't know if anyone else has knowledge of like comics and whatnot, but like since I have the mass majority of knowledge there from at least what I, I know, but yeah. so my only imagination because they use Kate Kane in this, which is supposed to be like Bruce's cousin or whatever. That's what what they're calling it. Yeah, is they're related. My only imagination is they're either going to either completely kill her off or she's going to get injured or something and she won't be able to do it anymore. And then they'll probably move on to Cassandra Kane, which is her sister who was like removed or they'll do some Barbara Gordon bullshit when realistically she should be Oracle, but they probably won't. They'll probably do Barbara Gordon as a Batgirl because Oracle pretty much was taken by, uh, Felicity Smoke in the Arrow series, her character, uh, Overwatch, is what they called her instead of Oracle, because that was basically the same character. I don't know what they're going to do, but I'm really hoping they, ah, if they do, do Barbara right. Gordon, they better do it right. They have to get a young actress, no 30-year-old. It has to be like a 22-year-old person, because anyone who's a fan, obviously the, the randoms probably outcast the amount of fans who actually watch these shows. Yeah. But... 22 to like 26 is the max for Barbara Gordon. Like if she's noticeably older, it's not going to work. That's just my opinion. I'm also a super stickler for accuracy when it comes to these comic book stuff, because it's, I, as I I don't know if I've ever stated this on the podcast before, but I grew up in a comic book shop. My my uncle owned a comic shop. He he owned above and beyond comics uh, in Erie. Yeah, my, oh. uh, my uncle Pat on that. Uh, he had that before he passed away. Then he gave it to the niece, and then the niece let it fall on the ground. But going to that, my, uh, my salty part. My one buddy used to work there. Yeah, my uncle uh, Pat Keitlinger. That was my uncle. Nice. That's yeah, awesome. he owned up Evergreen Comics, and I, I, I was around there a lot. I always got these big bins of comics, Spawn number ones. Like I don't know where they're at, but I wish I could find them. <laughs> uh, there was so much cool shit. But yeah, like. As a, I, I'm just a huge stickler for accuracy, which is why I'm very critical of movies. Like, my girlfriend's a big MCU fan. She absolutely loves it. And I always have some bullshit to say. Like, <laughs> when, a, when a lot of people are like, this movie was great, I'm like, it was great. But I, I'm, I'm just annoying to watch movies with, to be overall honest. But, uh, yeah, I, I think they could, they could pull it off and they could do a very good Barbara Gordon as long as the cards are played right, in my opinion. That's, that's pretty much all I got to say. I don't have much else, but I'm just hoping they don't fuck it up and they keep the continuity that was built. Well, they would have they have to completely kill her off because if they're going to keep any continuity, they have, to remo- they have to finish that continuity with the rest of the team. And considering what just happened in Crisis on Infinite Earths, I mean, I guess realistically, they are kind of in a perfect time to get rid of whoever they need to get rid of. Because Stephen Amell just signed off. He did his eight years, and he wants to be done with it. So he finished up. I haven't watched all of Crisis, but I know what happens, unfortunately. But yeah, sorry, that was my little rant. No, you're good. Uh, speaking of DC blunders, 
So we've talked about it before. Uh, the Justice League. So the Justice League Ooh, released yeah. um, totally. a version that we all saw that wasn't the actual version of the movie. So mm -hmm. they filmed a version of the movie. Zack Snyder filmed it. He was pretty much 85% done. And then he dropped out of the film due to creative differences between him and DC and a bunch of other politics. His wife got sick. That yeah, played into it. Issues. Um, so they, they brought another the director cut. in. Yeah, the butthole cut. So they brought another director in. He was like, eh, we're going to do it my way. Scrapped pretty much the whole entire version that Zack Snyder filmed and made the version that was released. That disappointed a lot of people. Yeah. So Zack Snyder was doing um, a ride-along, as, as what he called it, of the Man of Steel where he commentated on the Man of Steel live as it played. So at the end, on Instagram, he brought Superman himself in. <laughs> Good old um, uh, Witcher. Uh, and uh, so he brought him in. He's talking to him, asking questions. He's letting fans ask questions. And so one of the fans was like, so, because it was rumored that Zack Snyder's version of, of Justice League still exists that DC didn't actually scrap it. They put it off to the side, basically in a vault to never be released. So cust uh, a customer asked, yeah, fucking Best Buy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, a fan asked, he's like, okay, so what's the best, probably the question we're all been waiting to ask you, are we ever gonna see the, the Snyder Cut? So he goes to um, Mr. Cavill and it was like, what do you think? And he was like, I think you should release it. And he was like, and then he hits play on his keyboard and he was like, done. And then a trailer pops up of how it is now going to be released 2021 yeah. on HBO Max. Uh, it is confirmed they will be releasing the Snyder Cut of the Justice League, the version of the movie everyone wanted to see, with a different ending as well as there will be a, an alternate post credit scene that is rumored to have effect in the overall DC Universe um, Good. world. So uh, that is on HBO Max, which is HBO's new version of HBO Go. Because HBO has like three different streaming platforms. Uh, they basically took all of them and combined them into one, which is called HBO Max. Uh, I don't know what it exactly it has, but I know, it ha I know whatever was on HBO Go... And there was HBO Now, and there was something else. But all of them are now together on HBO Max. Nice. For like 15, 20 bucks a month. I don't actually know if it is or not, but it could be. Uh, last uh, things that I have, uh, Spider-Man and Sony are doing another spinoff. Uh, Jackpot uh, will be the new uh, hero cast in the, um, <coughs> the next uh, Spider-Man spinoff uh, from Sony. Yes. Um, Hang on. A jackpot. Yep. Yep. Uh, that's an words. obscure ass character, so I don't know how well that's gonna go over for them. Yeah, that's what the, that's what the thing says. He's a relatively new character in the pages of the Marvel Marvel comics, but um, she oh she's a girl. Sorry, she's getting her own spinoff. Um, so that will be coming sometime in the near future. Um, that will take place after Carnage. That comes out next year. Uh, last two pieces of movie news. When are we Scream getting this? Five is being made. What people care about Scream? I guess. I... Yes. Yeah. Scream oh. Five. When are we getting what? What did you ask, James? When are we getting the Spider-Man movie where Spider-Man kills Mary Jane by injecting in her with his radioactive spider semen? It never happens. They have a kid named Silk, and she's a badass. <laughs> made it, made it. Surprise me. I am Pornhub. Doesn't it happen in one of the... It uh, does happen in one of the... Yep. Yeah. It does happen. It's nothing in continuity, so it's not going to exist. <laughs> hey, man, they have all the Spider-Man to work with. When are we getting that? It was that? in a comic book. <laughs> That's what I want to see. It was a one-off, because... A lot of Marvel likes to just allow people to do whatever they want. And they're like, this belongs in this universe that's never going to have anything happen to it. But you felt the need to do it. So there's there's 
There's a really still fun... waiting for that movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um... <clears throat> Uh, yeah, Scream 5. David Arquette is returning as uh, Dewey from the original three. <laughs> David Arquette <laughs> still does stuff? I guess. Uh, yeah. Did, so, you, did he leave retirement just for Screen 5? He probably has no more money, so I'm assuming no, probably. so. probably. It's probably a big payday. Um, the last piece of news I have for movie and, mu- and movie and TV is Jurassic World 3. Um, despite being considered Jurassic World 3, uh, it is actually the sequel that will start a new era of Jurassic Park movies. So, so it's essentially No, no, it's this movie will then make start uh... another trilogy. So whatever happens to this movie starts the next trilogy, the next adventure. Uh, it is unknown if Chris Pratt will be in it um after this one. He's in this one obviously, but uh it is unknown whatever happens in this movie. Um will make him be in three more so essentially the dinosaurs and the humans are living together is the premise of this movie uh spoiler alerts for her those who never seen <laughs> drastic world fallen kingdom i've never seen it so i don't know what happens but so it's basically yeah, it's like, arc. yeah pretty much <laughs> um or uh drastic part two the lost world where they came to the united states but essentially whatever happens in this movie is that the two worlds now are living alongside of each other, and this movie then takes it into the next generation of Jurassic Park movies. So maybe they make the whole world Jurassic Park. Who knows? Sharks world later. Jurassic. Well, they already used the the name Jurassic Dragon World, so they got to figure That's something true. else out. Yeah, Jurassic, Jurassic Universe? Galaxy. There you go. Then the dinosaurs in the space. But well, that's all I got for movies and TVs. Uh, whoever has some news, get it rolling. So I just got something that popped up on my Twitter feed real quick. I got a notification okay. about it. Um, so this is from, I don't know the legit- legitimacy of this, of course, because it's all just hearsay. Uh, but Twitter user Tidu, I think, T-I-D-U-X, uh, says, heard from quite a few people that PlayStation is planning an announcement next week related to PS5, and the event is will follow within 7 to 10 days after that. And he also oh, says shit. that, uh, oh yeah, the PS5 will not cost 650 My guess, my guesstimate, 449 to 499 No way. So... 499 <laughs> Well, That's what I'd say. Yeah, I would assume that they might have one with like a. I don't know. Who knows? We'll see. Five fifty is my guess. I don't. I don't know about that one. It seems to four is too low. They wouldn't make any money. They would make the same profit they did. Seven forty nine ninety five. <laughs> Seven easy Six payments. Seven thirty two twenty nine ninety nine. I just I I can't see them releasing this kind of stuff for four hundred dollars. There's no way. Yeah. How much was the PlayStation Three released for? Eight like six fifty. Yeah, something like that. That's they they, they rectified that pretty fucking fast. But didn't they it take first, like two or three years though? It, it took a while, but they yeah, marketed it as the. It been marketed the, as a Blu-ray could, player though. Yeah, you can buy a, a Blu-ray player for the same price. Why not fucking buy a game system too? Yeah. So. But then that was again, also a different time. Then again, yeah. that those days m- people still didn't have HD TVs. Yeah. True. So mm. the CEO of Sony said in a uh, in a Q and A that the PS5 is a hundred times faster than the PS4 when you break down all the components. Oh yeah. I bet. Yeah, I read that too. That's. So. I'm excited. I can't wait to get my sweaty little palms on it and actually put it through the ringer day one. Me too, dude. So and they need to have some kind of event. We haven't heard anything no, other heard than the controller shit <clears throat> about that um, system, other than <laughs> the in-depth specs, which was very interesting. And we saw mm-hmm. the controller. We haven't seen the dude, console, seen the release, seen the price. Was on PS5. Is that something? Yeah. Yeah. yeah the the unreal. Well, yeah, we know the unreal yeah, engines, U- U- but that's that's it. Um. So we saw what gameplay that, though, could look like on it. Like real time gameplay, there's really, there's really nothing. No, 
No, they don't have a design. No one knows. No one. No one fucking knows how what it even looks like. They are. Everyone knows what the X block looks like. It's a yeah. giant fucking cube. It's a computer tower. It's yep. <laughs> it's a refrigerator. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's a mini fridge. Yeah. They I, Sony's keeping a real tight lip on this, and I'm shocked to see that there haven't been any leaks. I am I'm really shocked. happy about that because it makes me feel like it's gonna be good. Yeah. Yep. So or man, people at people at Sony they. They listen to that NDA, yeah. <laughs> or they know who would break that NDA. Yeah, it's it's kind of surprising how many. I mean, realistically, like people get their jobs from leaking an Apple. Like they get they get paid lots of money to do so. But like, it's surprising that Apple has more leaks than Sony does. Like this time around, mm-hmm. like I'm surprised that Sony doesn't have all these leaks. Yeah, compared I'm... to Apple, us knowing everything about all the new Apple stuff, pretty much in like definitively what it's gonna be, seven eight months before it comes out because it's probably gonna get pushed towards close towards January now. We, we also had a lot of leaks about the uh, Series X. Yeah, we that's had a true. lot of leaks about the Series X before it was announced. They even joked about it at the announcement. Yeah. So, I feel like Microsoft does that kind of on purpose, though. That's kind of their thing. They push a little bit of info out, then they let people just dig through it. And yeah. It. Who knows? But I'm excited. I, like I said, I can't I wait to get my sweaty little palms on it and th- run it through the ringer. Um, hey, you remember how last week we talked about the Mafia trilogy being announced? Yeah, I I downloaded Mafia Two Remastered. Yeah, I was gonna say. Guess what came out? <laughs> the Mafia trilogy. Uh, so the Mafia trilogy is a it gets you right now if you were to buy it. Okay, Games Radar, stop, stop what you're doing, stop <laughs> updating, stop. Thank stop. you. Okay, so you get uh, today if you were to buy it today, uh, you get the definitive edition of Mafia Two and Mafia Three, and then later on through the year I think it says I can't remember when exactly it says um, but later on throughout the year we will get uh, the definitive edition of the original Mafia game which is a just ground up remaster of it just everything's remastered on it so that's pretty neat Mafia is pretty good I played Mafia 2 that game's great Mafia 3 was alright a lot of N words. A lot of N words. I didn't like three. I, uh, honestly, yeah, I, I was good. never super. Yeah, into I wasn't a huge fan of it. No, it's it's a com- it's completely different than the other uh, mafia games. It was completely yeah. different, and it's I it was well, two. Well, two Mark, was wasn't dope. I? Was I? Wasn't I talking to you about this the other day? Yeah, I think we talked about it last week. Yeah, or... where yeah, mafia last week. three had the only thing that I had to deal with with mafia was that you're fighting the mafia. And you weren't actually playing yeah. as the mafia, so I don't know what. I still can't believe this is a thing, and coming out here in the U.S. And I still f- re- refuse to believe it too. But Fantasy Star Online Two is finally coming here to America, <laughs> and it's May twenty seventh. <laughs> Heard that name in a while. Yeah. So Fantasy that's Star Online time. 2, for for those who don't know, is a video game that's been out for fucking forever in Japan. Forever. Like 20 plus years. Uh, I think it came out on PS3 and PS4. So let's put it, let's put it I in remember, that perspective. I remember it being on Dreamcast. Oh yeah, I played the shit out of it on Dreamcast. That game was great. What's that? You, there's still there's still private servers that you can you can boot up a uh, Dreamcast right now and have the broadband adapter and get into a server of a uh, Fantasy Star Online one. People still play it. It's great. Yeah, and if I mean that that system came out in '98. That's insane. '98, '99. Yeah, when did, a long when, did time ago. when did Fantasy Star? It was a long time ago, man. When did Fantasy Star Two come out in Japan? Oh, two. 
Uh, it doesn't say. Fuck you. Um, where is it? It's it should have tell me. Okay, never mind. It's been where a very it? long. It's been a very long time. Holy moly! The original yeah. Fantasy Star came out in two thousand two, one two. I think. Fantasy Star. Well, maybe Fantasy Star Online are the other ones, but the original Fantasy Star came out in 1987. Oh, yeah. It was on the uh, Sega the Mega Drive. Sega. Yeah, or not the Mega Drive. The Master System. Yeah. Yep. The Master System. Oh, yeah. That was That's their, that was their Final Fantasy. Jesus. Final. An old game. That was their Final <laughs> Fantasy killer. That is bananas. Yeah, so this game that's only out in Japan, and Sega said it will never come to the U.S. Never, <laughs> ever, ever. Hey, you, person who got a Hong Kong version of the game so you could play it in English, and you hop over to the Japanese servers, or if you import it from Japan and play on the Japanese servers, you're going to get permabanned. That, that game is finally coming to America on the PC and Xbox One. Mm. I can see I PC. Wonder, uh, yeah, I can see, it's out on the PC in Japan, too. But it's... N- the Xbox One? It's not out in Japan in the Xbox One. It's only on PS4. So, it just seems kind of strange. I'm, I'm wondering how much Microsoft threw at Sega to be like, <laughs> hey... For a year, give us this game. Yeah, because apparently it's going to have crossplay between PC and um, Xbox, but I don't cool. think it's going to. I don't think you'll be able to play internationally. Like you won't be able to play with people in in the Asia markets because I. It's not saying anything about cross-platform with PS4. I don't know. I think it's the stupidest thing ever. For... I think for the most part, third-party exclusivity games shouldn't exist anymore. I think it's... It's it's useless. It's stupid. It's dumb. The only thing... And even to a... I can see why first-party games are exclusive, but I, I think all in all, nowadays, I mean really everything's so similar why not just release everything at once or on everything but oh well speaking of releasing things boy howdy is take two releasing a lot of things like what well 93 games over the next five years yep oh jesus (laughs) so uh take two interactive uh said in there uh they discussed their quarter four 2020 results um basically they said that there are uh 93 titles 63 are quote unquote core experiences 17 are quote mid core games and 12 are quote casual slash arcade titles so i can assume within the next schedule i can assume in the next five years we're going to see Grand Theft Auto 6 yep um of course out of those uh, yeah of course out of those five years five of them are going to be NBA 2K because that's also owned by Take 2 yeah uh probably maybe another Borderlands within the next five years you gotta think Gearbox (laughs) is owned by Take 2 yeah, they said in a Q and A that two of its biggest franchises have games in the have games in the works right now, which I would assume number one is Rockstar. Yeah, Grant. One, so, one of them is a Grant. One of them is Grand Theft Auto Six. I can guarantee yeah, that. Hundred percent is. Yeah, they're not. They're not going to tell us any information no. at all for no. some time. No, we're not going to learn about it. I would say maybe next year we'll. Maybe this year we might see we they might pull a Bethesda and be like, "Here's a title screen." Cheer, Case Elder Scrolls Six. All they're gonna do is show you uh, GTA Six, GTA V One, and then it's gonna go off the screen. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's that's oh, yeah. all. Tweet. That too. It's gonna be the most uh, trending thing in the world. Oh my god! I see it's a GTA yeah. in a few. Yeah. Yeah, they said. Yeah, two of the strong, two of their biggest um, franchises have games in the works. They didn't say which franchises they were. But. So. I mean. GTA is the biggest franchise right now. So I would assume I'm I'm just gonna assume here. You'd hope. Oh, I'm yeah. just gonna assume that Grand Theft Auto is one of Take Two's most popular franchises. Being that's the best selling game of the decade, you would expect. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, here's an obscure game we haven't made in like thirteen years. It's our biggest franchise. Oh. The, the fuck? <laughs> Let me I tell you, Borderlands. nothing will make me pop more just out of my chair and just go, just stand up in, like, the biggest, like, power position stance and just go, shit, is if it was, like, a black screen and during, like, a take-two announcement and all of a sudden you hear a, a School bell ring and you just see Bully Two show up on screen. I will flip I would out. Shit myself. I would, oh my like, god! Like, I would shit myself so hard I will skyrocket through this roof. Like it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that would Yo, be. That would fuck be interesting. GTA Six. Give me Bully Two. Like if I could choose yeah. between Grand Theft Auto and Bully, I wouldn't even. You would say. You could choose either between Bully 2 and Gr- and I would just be like, get that shit out of here. Give me Bully 2. A new Bioshock or a remastered It could Bioshock. be Bioshock. I forgot that's fucking them. Didn't they? Yeah. They just remastered they talk it. about something like that? Yeah, they I, talked about coming like out with Like the developers were saying about making a new one that's going to be completely yeah. different or some shit. I don't yeah. remember. So that's on the table too. That's on, That's hot, definitely on the table. Yeah. Uh, a new Bioshock. That would be huge. A lot of people would be... Yeah. Super stoked for that. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, watch. Sorry. Oh my god. Imagine the next Grand Theft Auto announcement. The new Grand Theft Auto game coming out is a fucking mobile game. <laughs> it's just Mafia City, but Grand Theft Auto. Imagine that. My head would explode. I would laugh so hard. Or another pixel version, like Dark <laughs> Pixel. It's like a. Hey man, Chinatown Wars was great. Version. Chinatown Wars was fantastic. That's one of my favorite GTAs. It's right underneath Vice City. Yeah. Oh, we'll man. see. We'll see what happens. I'm assuming they're gonna have uh, a press conference this summer at the games, uh, games fest or whatever it's called. Hey, hey, hey! That's a that's a damn fine segue, segue Walker, because we got news from the summer games fest. This is from their Perfect. Twitter account. You know that game Valorant? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, June second. June second is out of beta. That's like Just... soon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's like next, next week. week. Fucking Just June's crazy. coming right up here, guys. Yeah. I know. Which is crazy to think June's right here, but in, in two to think it's coming out of beta and fucking Fortnite's still in beta. <laughs> I, I didn't think Fortnite was in beta anymore. Or yeah, it is. Yeah, I think on the loading the screen. screen it says open beta or whatever. Yeah. Is this a fucking up, joke? No. <laughs> That's how they're able to, you like, know, play on. everything off. Hold on. Let me, <laughs> let me download Fortnite just to look at this. Give you me can do one. whatever the fuck you want whenever you're in beta. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a second here. Or early access. Yeah. Well, well that yeah, loads. Funny. Well, that loads up. Are you fact checking? I'm going to fact check. God damn it! I'm. I clicked to open up. I I clicked to open up Epic Game Store. I will fucking download Fortnite just for this like five seconds, just to just to load it up. Hey, why not? Oh, yeah, by the way, let me, let me just uh, mute this. I'm assuming then you can just download it willingly, and you don't have to wait for a code from somebody. Yeah. Up volume mixer. Let me just after. Uh, uh, just gonna mute. It's all said and done. Go onto their website and download it like an actual human being. Yep. <laughs> Instead of watching hours upon hours of stream. Yeah. To just try to get a copy. Just try to get a copy and don't download it or don't play it. Exactly. Like me. All right. Played half you? a match. It was 
Okay. All right, let's install Fortnite. Fort, Fortnite. I got a Fortnite thing really quick. That's All a right, quick go for it. Segue from Fortnite. Um, Christopher Nolan's I new movie. Don't want to add any friends. Um, fuck. Uh, Tenant uh, just premiered a trailer, uh, the debut trailer on Fortnite. Yeah, I saw and that. And later in the summer, uh, he, uh, it is confirmed that one of Christopher Nolan's most iconic movies will be streamed in its entirety uh, in Fortnite. So that'd be really? yes. That's yep, it is not it's not yeah, that's known what what movie it will be, but one of his most iconic movies will be streamed in its in its entirety Ooh. during Fortnite. I wonder. I if don't it's... know how that's possible. Well, it's... unless you don't die. It might be Inception. Well, there's that there's that creative well, not that creative mode, but there's that hangout mode that they added. They added a mode yeah. just oh, for yeah, like so... chilling. Yeah. So it's yeah, it probably true. after. Uh, it's probably in Saturday. Travis Scott's thing. concert. Yeah. yeah, I can. I honestly think would be the only oh, only other ones yeah. would be the Dark Knight. Well, and then there's also um, fuck, what's that movie? The Prestige. one about the magician. Yeah, Prestige. Yeah, Prestige. That was a good movie. I don't think it would be that though. It wasn't as big as Inception oh, hell no. or, or the Dark. Knight. No, it definitely wasn't. I, I feel like it would, it, it would probably be the Inception. Um. Just because the DC and everything, so. But yeah, so this summer, sometime, Christopher Nolan will be streaming his, a movie, Dracula and uh, Fortnite. Very. So what, any guy else from the Gamescon? Not Gamescon. No, that but, was, uh... that's all the, that they really had, uh, for that. Okay. But hey, <clears throat> summer, summer Games Fest. That means it's summer. You know what? Also, is... that mean that also means. Sony state or Sony Days of Play. Yes. So every year, uh, they have the Days of Play, two week of some really good discounts on a lot of games, and different memberships and stuff. Uh, the Days of Play this year is going to be June third through the seventeenth, and here are the uh, sales that are going on. Uh, the fantastic so uh, gold wireless headset, probably just the black version. Is going to be sixty nine ninety nine down from its hundred dollar price tag. Uh, the okay. platinum wireless headset is going to be one twenty nine ninety nine down from its one sixty price set. Neo two and MLB the Show twenty is going to be down to thirty nine ninety nine down from its sixty dollar price tag. Predator Hunting Grounds, Death Stranding, and Dreams are all three are going to be twenty nine ninety nine each. Days Gone, Medieval, nice. and Blood and Truth are going to be twenty bucks. Everyone's Golf VR is going to be 15 bucks. Astrobot Fuck Rescue yeah. Mission and Farpoint are going to be 10 bucks. Last of Us Remastered and Select PlayStation Hits games are going to be starting at 10 bucks. 12 month PlayStation Plus membership is going to be 30% off. 12 month PlayStation Now membership is going to be 30% off and 3 month PlayStation Now membership is going to be 20% off. And also they are doing a special thing uh, to celebrate the PlayStation Gear Store, they're offering 20% discounts on all full price merchandise using promo code Days of Play 20. So that's pretty cool. So we got a lot of a uh, lot of a lot of good cool. deals. There's some fantastic games in there. Uh, for, Guys, know I like my deals. Yeah, yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. I be looking deals up for no reason. It's the first thing I did when I got home. I'm looking for one right now. Fortnite's at six percent, <laughs> by the way. You're downloading, dude. I'll just take a screenshot if you want. No, man, I gotta see that. You could doctor that screenshot, man. Okay. You could fucking Holy doctor shit. that screenshot. Fucking hilarious. You know what else is hilarious? Great. You know, Walker. You and I are. It's like it's it's like okay. we we're on like this 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 kick. It's like we it's like we're yeah. uh, we have our period. The here, same like mental uh, mental. Uh, Me menstrual cycles. Struggles. There we go. There you go. Sorry, I can't talk. I'm too busy uh, thinking about Fortnite. Yeah, you are. Love on the battlefield. Yeah. Fortnite 2, love on the battlefield. Do you guys know of the game Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2? Yeah. That game's been out for four goddamn years. And it no. sold, and sold six million units worldwide. Xenoverse 2's been out since 16? Yep. It doesn't seem like that. Nope. At all. 
Now, why am I bringing this up, you may ask? I do ask. Guess what's getting <laughs> some new DLC? Oh, boy. Dragon Xenoverse. Ball Xenoverse 2. <laughs> um, okay. According to Gimitsu, uh, the newest DLC will add Supreme Kai of Time, uh, Krona as playable characters after a major update comes out on all platforms. Alongside Krona, the update will include a Broly wig and armor set, a Supreme Kai of Time costume, and an expanded partner customization feature. This feature will allow previously unplayable characters to now be played. No release date or pricing for this DLC has been revealed yet. Now, here is the weird thing. You guys want to know the last time this game got a got any kind of DLC? Uh, wasn't it the same year? Nope. August 2018. Oh. So we're coming up on <laughs> two goddamn years without a DLC, and it just drops out of nowhere. But hey, you know, good good for them to uh, good for them to keep keep updating a game that nobody plays anymore. Yeah, especially <laughs> when they came out with a better one. Yeah, they came out. They came out with yeah, fighters. Fighters, I heard, was good. Fighters is fantastic. It's Arxis. It's a fantastic game. Okay. They don't know how to make a bad game. They're like Platinum. Yeah. But that's all that so, I have uh, for news on a very, uh, very uneventful, uneventful week. Oh, shit. Anybody else got some stuff before I go? I'm empty this week. I got a few things. That's what she said. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh, so the security firm is uh, Zero Dinium, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. They're an American information company who pays security researchers to submit exploits to various programs. They've stopped accepting certain applications for uh, being submitted to iOS. So TLDR, there's a shit ton of bugs in iOS right now. Um, Didn't someone say it's an absolute mess? Yeah, the... Uh, to quote them, they're saying iOS security is fucked. <laughs> uh, <laughs> only PAC and non-persistent uh, exploits are holding it from being a completely zero exploit. But being that there's so many problems now, it's Apple iOS is pretty much close to zero. If I, I, How do I explain that? There's a lot of exploits that are done that are installed on your phone that you can fix just by restarting it. But then there's a shit ton of lot more that are currently being found in like newer versions of iOS that are going around that. So being that this uh, this firm has so many, they're just like, yeah, we can't pay bounties anymore. <laughs> Sorry, we can't give you money for for breaking Apple stuff anymore. <laughs> uh, it's too broken. To go, to go along with that. Uh, TechCrunch posted yesterday that uh, hackers released a, a jailbreak that's working on every iOS version on every iPhone. Nice. So uh, mm-hmm. if you have the even the latest iOS 13.5, you can still jailbreak that. I wonder if it's still... It doesn't work on 13.5.1, though. Uncover doesn't seem to work on that current. Okay. Well, didn't, didn't we talk about um, a few months ago about how there was an exploit inside of the actual architecture of the phone itself that couldn't be patched with a and that was exactly that was, remember that was there was that was with the email if i recall because i think we talked about something like that there was it's it's a pretty big issue but it's the same in the same right it's it's not that big a deal because they they pretty much fixed it but i guess there's technically still the chance I thought there was something I, I hardware it, level. That's what we're I thought there was something hardware level. To my understanding, level. that yeah, it was a hardware like yeah, level, yeah. like or kernel level exploit, yeah, kernel so level, you can't necessarily it. fix it. Um, but they did determine it as a small enough risk that they did need to really fix it, because I believe it only worked on certain kind of iPhones that weren't updated or something like that, or like that were below iOS something. I can't exactly remember. It was a very specific use case, if I remember correctly. Mm-hmm. Um, but really yeah. Quick. Go oh, ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Finish the, before um, you move on to the next, before you say <laughs> the next thing. Keep going if you're still on it. Yeah, to uh, 
think of what Nate said back there. Uh, I have a feeling that Apple probably put out iOS 13.5.1 just to stop this sort of thing. Because yeah, this is what happens every time they put out like a jailbreak and it gets put around the internet. They're like, all right, we're going to put out a 0.1 version or a 0.2 <laughs> version just to fuck with them. To, you that's know, exactly fix this. what uh, I jailbreak your I device. I think that's the name of their channel. Uh, they had actually stated that Apple caught onto it so fast. They usually do, but like apparently this was like the next day, apparently, wow. because the video I watched was posted 17 hours mm-hmm. ago and they already posted the update blocking all that shit. So if you're on uh, 13.5.1, it's going to completely null and void everything that, that you can currently do. So everyone's saying the uh, the jailbreak community is just like, don't go to that one and you should be fine. What's the, what's the latest update? 13.5. Uh, depending if you're asking the specifics, 13.5.1. Uh, and the other thing apparently is there's no uh, there's no wireless version of this right now. It's only wired. So if your phone turns off, reboots or whatever, you're not having it anymore. Oh, I forget what... I used to be really big into jailbreaking. This is like a... a there's a different kind of exploit. I forget what it's called, but yeah. Okay. Um, I, can't, I can't remember. That's pretty neat. Give it I two months, and then I'll probably make a new one. Oh, yeah. Or More likely. Somebody will break it. <laughs> yeah, sure. Two months? You're going to... Yeah, breaking isn't like going long. away. I mean, I'm just trying to, you know, be generous. Yo, I give it a week. You know, so. gonna... if yeah, that... that's what I was going to say. 72 but, hours. You know... <laughs> My buddy actually just used it, and uh, he's going to be filling me in tomorrow about it. So I'll have info for the next week about how, like, it works and all that stuff, what you can do. Apparently, what this one's allowing you to do is basically take full control of your Apple device with like widgets and everything. So we'll see how well it actually works. Definitely. That's Uh, all that I have for Apple. You got something about it, Walker? Yeah. Uh, Mr. Ryan, kind of quick quick sidebar, wants to know some hidden gems to play on the Nintendo Switch. Oh, um, uh, fuck. Ah, shit. I think it's like Legend exactly. of the Bird King or Revenge of the Bird King <laughs> is a really fun 2D me- Metroidvania like or no I wouldn't even say that it's more of like a Contra like game I bought it for oh. like a buck on the eShop it's really Ooh. good what is it Revenge of the Bird King I think that's what it's called Let me, uh... that sounds with bird like Flappy yeah. Bird 2 and Revenge of the Bird King yeah. yeah, it's really uh, good. Untitled Goose Game is also another good uh, <laughs> hidden gem. Honk! I don't think that's a hidden yeah. gem anymore. No, it's still fun. It's still a fun. The game's a game giant. Play, I wouldn't say it's like a well-known game, but it's a huge indie game. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, Revenge of the Bird Honk. King. Honk! Yeah, Revenge of the Bird, Bird King. That was a when I went on my every once in a while spending spree of like five dollars in the eShop and get like a hundred games <clears throat> that one actually surprised me by being good usually oh. i buy games and it's like oh this one cost a penny all right i turn it on i got my money's worth out of it i play for like five <laughs> minutes i'm done cool uh anybody else have any ones oh i got, I got some more news yeah no i meant the games sorry before we move on to the news um, oh, I got I got a ton. Play Agony. We talked about that a little bit last week. But Is that on Switch? Good. What? Yeah. Uh, it's like five bucks, five ten bucks. Agony. Yeah. It's gory. It's it's it's, it's a bad. Game. Game. It's. You need to have a stomach for that game, but yeah. Ryan. It's a. Watch it's some good. YouTube on it first. It's a solid game. It's not so a lot of it is pure like you're go, you're in hell. You're going through hell. And yeah, like, so it's what you would they, expect. Yeah, they make sure you know hell is a dark place. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> and, you know, you also went through hell in Dante's it's not Inferno. Just gore. Yeah, but that's that's a little different. This is, so, I don't know if you've ever looked into Agony. That was but me and Mitchell game. have talked about it a little bit, but um, oh no, if, he talked to me about it too. Okay, yeah, Agony is... So the the thing I like about Agony is it's heavily gore-based, but it's not 
gore based. If that meant, like, there is a legitimate good like story to it, but you have to look for it too. It's not just in your face story, which is kind of how a lot of the games I like at least are. You have to look for things. It's not just going to tell you, but it also does have a fairly linear aspect to it. It's it's a good game. Play Agony. It, it's solid. Here, let me uh, let me. This is updated on April eighteenth. Here are hidden gems on the Nintendo Switch eShop yeah. from NintendoLife.com. <clears throat> uh, there is a tor- There's the game The Tourist. Uh, uh, a joyous little adventure that sinks its blocky hooks into you and doesn't let go until it's done. Perfect balance, balance of atmospheric puzzling, leisurely exploration, and minigame madness that will keep you thoroughly entertained from start to finish. Uh, there's Bad North, uh, Viking strategic combat right out of the heart of Scandinavia's indie developer scene, Bad North. Um, uh, Swedish developer Plausible Concept calls it a micro-strategy uh, capula- uh, ca- encapsulation of its minimalistic approach that covers everything uh, from unit management to m- Monument Valley style isometric art style. Uh, there's City of Brass. Uh, let's see here. While some of the procedurally generation can sometimes be, make for unnecessarily challenging experience, City of Brass is more than makes up for it for its sheer creativity. Uh, you can explore its Arabian Nights themed maps. Okay. Uh, Ape Out. I've seen this. I've never actually played it. Um... Uh, it's a refreshingly original experience that's more than deserves any place in the Switch owner's library. Difficult, fr- uh, phonet- frenetic gameplay, and strong art dire- direction, and even stronger jazz drum soundtrack makes this the sort of memorable game that you'll keep coming back to over and over for another few runs in arcade mode. Uh, Armello, which is a really fun uh, card game. Uh, Planet Alpha, Sky Rogue, Aegis Defenders, Hands of Fate 2, Full Metal Furies, and yeah. And then e- Eggs of the Gungeon's also a, also a classic. Well, there you go, man. Thank you. Thank you, James, for that. Sorry, Mark, didn't mean to cut you off. Keep going, man. What else you got? Uh, give me one sec. Uh... Beast, uh, yeah, sorry, I lost my flow. <laughs> uh, so the so the Halo Master Chief Collection will be having Halo Three come to its update flighting uh, mid June. So if you're a part of the Halo Insider program, you can try out the Halo Three Insider uh, somewhere in the mid half of June, according to Microsoft. After that. Uh, suppose, supposedly, if it goes well, then we should see a pretty fast release of the game. Nice. Mm. That'd be cool. That'd be, be pretty neat. Man, I, I will play uh, the shit out of that once Halo 3 drops. <laughs> oh, <100%. laughs> Halo 3 is great. They just gotta... If they if they have Forge in it, then I believe that'll be something that really draw, draws me into it. Otherwise, I don't know. <laughs> Can't have Halo um, Three without Forge, though. You can't. It's yeah. Like it, it's like you're missing half the game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it'll be pretty interesting. Uh, I'm a part of the Insider program, so if I try it out, I'll be sure to let you know. Uh, next thing up with Animal Crossing, something a little random. Somebody made a Danny De- DeVito's yeah. face on our Animal Crossing island using <laughs> the nice. Island Designer app on your Nook phone. I'd Google it if you're interested. Yes. It's Danny DeFito and Animal Crossing. <laughs> <laughs> I dropped this magnum then... condom for my magnum dong. <laughs> <laughs> um, the last thing that I have is some more data mining as far as Animal Crossing goes. Uh, the good old Twitter user underscore NG, uh, N I J I. Uh, was looking into art this week and said that you can randomly receive pieces of art from your villagers in the mail. 
uh, assuming that they understood the system correctly, Jock and Lazy Villagers will send any pieces of art, either real or fake. Smug, vi smug Villagers will only send fake pieces of art, and Cranky Villagers will only send sculptures that are either real and fake. Hmm. So just a little information about that. Well, I got a lot of Jocks on my island, so... Yeah, so they might be real or fake. So at least, at least you know that they're definitely not going to be fake. <laughs> or statues. Yeah, or yeah, or stat, or sculptures, or statues. So that's always a plus. That's all, <laughs> that's all that I got for news. I'll let you know if we hear more. Perfect. Uh, I'll go. Uh, so, as we talked about a little bit uh, last week or the week before, a couple weeks ago, uh, Sea of Thieves uh, is coming to Steam. Uh, they just re they just released the uh, the release date, June third. Oh, Jesus! Uh, is when it'll be on Steam. Uh, if you bought it on Xbox or PC, you do have to buy it again on Steam. Um, it does not require Xbox Live, um, oh, and that's you will cool. be able to, yeah, uh, you'll be able to cross play with people who have it on Xbox and PC via the Game Pass. Nice, which is nice. really nice. As long as they so. don't have the original disc version of the game, that's a big yeah. thing. The original disc version of the game is not cross-platform. Okay. Yeah, which is, you would think that. They would have done something to bring those together, but it, yeah. it must have completely makes too changed much sense. or something. I I don't know. Yeah. So uh, next big thing, uh, it was announced today that Madden will be a launch title for the next gen consoles. Big shock. Uh, so yeah. So when it comes to games, it's really unknown what kind of games will be available, but Madden will be one of them. Not that many people. Not a lot, a lot of people still play Madden, but when was the last time uh, a Madden, like a sports game, was not a launch title for a system? I would say probably like the N sixty four and PlayStation one. Yeah, definitely the N sixty four. That had nothing. You didn't to do appreciate in the US. NFL Blitz. That was not a launch title. I feel like it was. No, the only ones that were launch titles for at least the N sixty four was uh. Pilot Wing 64 and Mario 64. Oh my god, I remember that one. <laughs> uh, speaking of piloting, it's a nice little segue. Hell yeah. Uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator Beta will be available mid-July. Whoop, whoop. Are they hey. saying that's one of the most beautiful games ever made? It's honestly looks absolutely stunning. They use uh, real-life flight maps, and it's said to be the most accurate flight simulator that's ever been made. Yeah, but um, but here's the thing: it. is it going to use AK textures, AK cinema quality <laughs> textures? Maybe they say you could I actually um, don't care if it doesn't take care of a portion of your flight test. Yeah, or your, like your real flight yeah. critique. Mm -hmm. You it puts in hours on your. You could do I think up to yeah, um, pilot. I think up to like 10, twenty. I, think. I thought it was twenty hours. That's crazy though. That you can that use a flight simulator for that. <laughs> That's awesome. Very accurate. It's very realistic. And then also speaking of taking flight, we've talked about this game multiple times. Star Citizen. If you've ever wanted yeah. to play the alpha from 10 years ago, and now's your chance. It is free till June 1st. The alpha is? Yeah. Star Citizen in its entirety as a game is free until June 1st. So is it... Wait, you can play it or you can... You can play the whole game. Can you... Do you get to keep it after that? Probably not. It's uh, probably then you have to pay the fee. Okay. Yeah, you have to oh, pay okay. the fee. It's like it's a it's, it's, it's like a trial, I guess. Uh, okay. They're not calling it a free trial. They're saying the game is free to play. Isn't that game June still 1st. in beta? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's an alpha, I think. It's, it's still an alpha. Still an alpha. Yeah. Wow. Oh. That game like glass I was telling you guys about a couple years ago or a couple weeks ago works with that too. That really? phone yeah. app thing. Yeah. Kind of neat. So you yeah, ever want to play Star Citizen and want to explore space? One of the longest running alpha games in history. Uh, now is your chance. And, At this uh, point, I feel like I don't want to play it purely out of the fact that it's still an alpha. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like they're doing that on purpose, though. I hear about them doing neat <laughs> updates, though, all the time. I mean, look what they did with No Man's Sky. Yeah. But, yeah, but here's the thing. When No Man's Sky was released, it was full. It was oh, a fully yeah. released game. Like, it was... Yeah. All I was like that, too. And a lot of people are saying this new Wastelander piece has really added a lot of like juicy stuff oh to fall out speaking of fall on nate does uh, steam ever get back to you 
I am cr- so Steam is kind of wishy washy with me right now. They don't know that I was just told the robot. Get- what are you trying to do? Uh, return 76, even though I'm technically over both parameters. Uh, I explained to them the situations, and uh, it's kind of up in the air at the moment. All right. Well, we will eventually get to it. I mean, we I, have hundreds of games in our library. I've heard that a lot, and we haven't done anything, and that's $40 I'd like back if we're to it. Yeah, understandable. Understandable, yeah. Especially if we can get it on a better deal. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so that um, Star Citizen is free. Tons of people play it. A lot of people like it. So, uh, speaking of free games, Final Fantasy fourteen is free uh, until the twenty seventh. So by the time this podcast is uploaded, it may not be free anymore. But if you're listening to it now and you want to play it, uh, it is free on the PS four. Yeah, you can download the uh, starter edition, which gets you thirty days free. Yeah, four. So that's always fourteen. So good. 14, fourteen is fantastic. It's my favorite MMO. I- I want to get back into 14 so bad. Yeah, I just need to restart my subscription. That's it. It's, it's not cross licensed, and I have everything up to Shadowbringers on my PlayStation. So just play it on your PlayStation. Is it? It's is, is it cross platform? Yeah. Oh, okay. Then I'll just play on my PlayStation. Yeah, and you could just hook up a keyboard and mouse to your PlayStation and just play like that. Okay. Yeah, that makes I think sense. Me and James have it on PlayStation. <laughs> yeah. I'll have to get it then. Mike Zach to, has it on a PlayStation and PC. Okay. Yeah, I spent sixty dollars for that game, and I played it <laughs> just six times. No, yeah, I played seventy dollars because I got the Shadowbringers and everything else when Shadowbringers came out like two days after. Because yeah, all my buddies thing. on PlayStation were like, "Yo, this game's so dope! This is like one of the coolest things they've done." And I'm like, "Fine, I'll get it. I want to be a dragon dude. I Why wanna, not?" I want to play yeah. the Near Automata stuff. Because Yoko Taro did some stuff for it, and it's supposed to be batshit oh. insane. Nice. And you can get 2B uh, outfit. That'd be cool. On uh, Nintendo, uh, they were, uh, Metroid Prime Trilogy uh, is rumored to be released next month uh, for the mm-hmm. Nintendo Switch. That'd be fun. Yeah. A lot of people dig those games. Oh, Metroid Prime is unbelievably good. The soundtrack to them is pretty damn nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I haven't played a whole lot of them, but I've listened to actually quite a bit of music, and it's pretty good. Metro Prime 2 is so if you... fantastic. So if you miss being able to go to raves and uh, electronica, electronic shows... I miss being um, in it's... So uh, now's your chance. Oh. Starting June 3rd for three days to June 6th. God damn it, everything's on June 3rd. Minecraft is hosting Electronica Music Festival with 300 artists Hell on yeah. 30 different stages across one of the what will be considered the largest gaming music fest in history on one of the biggest servers known to man that Hell can yeah. hold every person who wants to join it. The wow. basically like Electric Daisy Carnival in Minecraft. <laughs> I want to go to EDC so bad, but that's a different. Kind of... No, you yeah. just go there in Minecraft. I can't ride a Ferris wheel <laughs> while listening to a Wub Wubs. No, that attitude you can. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you I have guess. to believe in yourself a little Ferris stronger wheel. than that, bro. I can't feel the decibel breaking my brain. But turn up the volume just on your know headphones. Those. Uh, the concert is not free. What? Just Get like any, fuck? just like any concert, you have to buy tickets. Oh my I'm sorry. god. <laughs> yes, How much are tickets? tickets? Uh, the world wants to know. I will have to look it up. It doesn't give me the price if of the tickets. If it's more than like 10 bucks, you've got me fucking job. Let me look it up. Um, It's called Electric Blockalo. Yeah, before you tell us, though, we will. EDC, that's exactly what Before you doing. tell us exactly how much, though, we're going to make, we're going to guess. Yeah. Okay, let me... uh. Here, I'm pull up the, the good old website for electric block glow. Yes, I'm over the ages of 18 years old. Uh, I got all 300 artists here. Let's see what we got. Still? Did you get your new keyboard already, James? Nope. Oh, well, that's what I thought. You, I thought your keyboard was like on your lap or something. Yeah, it is. Okay. Ooh, oh, it if is. I Google electric block glow, the first thing that comes up is learn to save money, page four, cash save. Oh. <laughs> nice. Let's see here. Let's go to tickets. It doesn't show on the website. You have to sign up for the website. Um, so I don't know if it'll be available yet. 
Okay, I found it. Oh, Diplo so and guess... Zoo is going to be there? Yeah. So, so you got to think of this as a real concert. So there is front row oh. all the way to the back. That means fucking nothing. It's virtual. <laughs> so guess, so there's a range. Of course there is, Minecraft. Of so course. based on where you can stand, guess how much the tickets are. So how many rows are there? Uh, it doesn't say how many rows there are. Um, so we'll imagine it has the base concepts. It has, no, that doesn't, oh, no, 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 no. You can't do that because if there's not amphitheater seating, it's just GA. It would be just GA <laughs> unless you have specialty VIP. I've been to a couple festivals in my day and that doesn't work that way. There's no, not- people just kind of stay wherever they want. Yeah, be, unless you get like VIP passes or the extended passes like, um, like uh, fucking the big ones have, like EDC and uh, tomorrow. James, stop being a fucking animal. This is an orchestra. You got to see it in your designated seat. <laughs> Jesus Christ, haven't you ever been to the theater, you fuck? <laughs> yep, ingrates. I actually, I honestly, I refuse to go to shows that are stuck inside of amphitheaters because I, I don't want to sit if I'm going to a music a music show. I'm going to a concert. Unless it's like panic or something, I'll go see them and I'll sit. But I, I won't be happy about it, but I'll be happy about it. Like, so, okay. Essentially, breaking it into the uh, amphitheater ideology, because that seems like what they're doing, is, so I imagine GA would probably be around 60 bucks, but then up to about $100. I'd say, no, no, no. For virtual, probably $30 to about $100 is my my range. Wow, That's you know what I'm, I, I thought it would be like 35 bucks for a general mission and then like 60 bucks for something special. You guys are way off. So, <laughs> you guys are way the like fuck $300? off. $300? It's not in the hundreds. It can't be in the hundreds. I guarantee it's fucking absurdly priced. Did you find the juicy? Oh, the no, I'm, look, I'm looking at it right now. All right, go ahead. Wait, 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 can I give my top? Like, if, if I'm gonna have to go, if I, you're telling me I'm way fucking off. You're way the fuck. 350 is my max. 350. 350 is my max. Okay. If, if you're telling me to go higher, they're fucking high. Wait, watch it be like super cheap because they're expecting the quantity of accessibility. You gotta remember, there is 130 million people who have this game. Mm -hmm. And you okay. gotta state though, they have stated everyone who wants to be there will be capable of being there. Yeah. It's fucking free, yeah. isn't it? No, it's not free. Well, what is it? Wait, wait, Jeff, do you have a, well, do you have a, Mark's do you have a here. Mark's here. We'll ask I still Mark. Think it's, I think we'll ask it's Mark like, his I opinion. Think. What do you think's the price of it? I don't know well, if you heard the conversation. That I don't know if I would be way off if it was like 35. Mark, you got your ears on? Mark. All right, you know the Digital bo Boogaloo? The, the EDM Mark. show, the big one? So, Go ahead. What's so, it called? What's it called? Electric, Electric Block Blockaloo is a Minecraft EDM festival featuring over having. 300 acts over 40 stages in On Minecraft. June 3rd to June 6th. And you're, to access Wait, it, no, it's, you're selling it's, tickets. <laughs> no, it's June 25th to 28th. Oh, well, no. Yeah, sorry. No, there's, there's tickets going on sale oh, on June 3rd. Sorry, yeah, the tickets go on sale. Okay. All right. How so much... how much you think... Go ahead. Tickets are. Sorry. For a Minecraft EDM concert. 400 bucks. Well, okay. okay. It, it's a stagger. There's different prices for yeah. where you so are. So there's like general admission and then there's like front row. Uh, <laughs> I've heard admission. I said about 30 to 350. Yeah, I'd say general admissions probably like, yeah, eighty bucks somewhere around there, eighty, eighty to one hundred and twenty, um, and then like special VIP is like two, three hundred, and then like super super special VIP is like eight hundred to a thousand. That's what I go with. What are we looking at, boys? You. Ah. Can... Uh... <laughs> What are we looking at? It's not oh, just a regular music festival, I assume. Uh, so the admission ranges from $7 to 
nice. Close. Okay. So, uh, I guess the festival is offering a 60-40 revenue share with the participating artists, which is pretty nice. Okay. Yeah. And then when it comes to the size of as to why so that the t tickets are so low, is there is 112 million active users on Minecraft and 175 million people own the game. So you take fucking seven dollars and you multiply it by 175 million people, you make it's the largest concert ever in history in terms of revenue. Or <laughs> hell, like you you even take a fraction like of 10%. that. Ten percent. Yeah. 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 That is a hugely profitable concert. Yeah. yeah. Right. No actual venue to rent. No, like. Mm -mm. You just have to pay. No real server. overhead aside from servers and and uh, artists. I guarantee people oh. would pay the, the, that high. Yeah, we need to value. stop talking, talking about wrong. that shit. The next one's going to be stupid expensive. <laughs> that is I was true. thinking of everybody. The actual music festival. That's what I was shit. doing. Yeah. No, I, people probably would pay because they miss it, but. But yeah, so that that's happening here soon. So that'll be interesting. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll I'll download Minecraft, pay seven bucks. Yeah, I'll do it. Let's fucking Fuck it. Bet. Yeah, dude, we'll yeah, get it live Minecraft streaming from the side. <laughs> so fucking make it happen. Bet. I'll do it. Uh, last <laughs> our thing. experience. We'll interview. We'll interview people. We'll pull interview them off the side. Diplo. Yes. <laughs> I was dude, talking about. We actually have the ability to walk around. With people that'd be fucking that'd be cool, fantastic that, dude, that'd be cool oh, like man. different actual venues that are made after different venues in real life people yeah. are going to be putting skins of just like topless people just <laughs> roaming around just like an actual like electric uh, forest or something like, like that or, yeah. yeah or like yeah. bonnaroo that's fucking amazing uh last it's couple things i have it really is yeah. it's phenomenal how many people are in that game like, if Fortnite well, can do it to the success that it has, fucking Minecraft. <laughs> I hate the... where it came from. Or, like, not even that. Like, it's it's the first, like, maybe not even the first, but, like, the first outlet where they start doing something different than just Minecraft yeah. as a game of what it usually has been. Mm -hmm. Like, Yeah, I think you know, the sky's cool. the limit from there. <laughs> hey, man, if but someone can make... Successful. If someone can make a working Game Boy emulator to play Pokemon Red in Minecraft, you can do whatever the fuck you want in Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> you could do literally anything That's in Minecraft. Crazy. Electric jungle in, mine in Minecraft. <laughs> That's something else. I don't know, man. I think it's kind of ridiculous, but hey, if people are going to have fun on it. Do, do, do whatever. Right? Oh, We're all going to go camping. We're going to make a little campsite and a bunch of mushrooms and no mushrooms. Just... Walk we'll around the festival. Bunch, we'll do a bunch of mushrooms. Yep. <laughs> it's survival mode too, we'll, so you go. We'll all traps. Yeah, yeah. There's just a fucking creeper that everyone appears just, during the yeah, show. Yeah, everyone enjoying their show. Yeah. <laughs> Even better, a uh, creeper after a bit's been hit by lightning. Fucking creeper yeah. came out of nowhere. The en Ender Dragon fucking pops up at the end. Yeah. Like, annihilates everybody. <laughs> That'd be funny. Um, so a couple things here. So Assassin's Creed. So Assassin's Creed Origins, not Origins. So the original Assassin's Creed was going to be a very linear game without side quests. Um, until the CEO of Ubisoft, his Yves son, Guillermo. um, his son played the original my Mi uh, Minecraft. Jesus, played the original Assassin's Creed and told his dad this game is stupid. They're baiting. <laughs> <laughs> and because of that, they papa, added side papa. quests in the original Assassin's Creed. Sava <laughs> mal. I thought that Why was hilarious. Your video? Stupid. Yeah, he, he brought it up in a in an interview how his son actually changed the outcome of Assassin's Creed because he said it was stupid. So that's actually pretty funny. So speaking of Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed Valhalla was originally announced. It is going to be um, a little bit less than um, Odyssey. Which is not the case anymore. Bigger. The map is actually going to be bigger. Why? That's, that's a poor choice. Yeah, it is going to be bigger by at least fifteen percent. Uh, well, you take that in consideration of the game. That is huge. You're going to have apparently most of England that you can run around in, and part of like Scandinavia. I, or not Scandinavia, um, Sweden. Uh, Odyssey was not 
Odyssey was well received in the fact that it was a good game. But Odyssey was not well received in the fact that pe- a lot of people never finished that fucking game. Yeah, because it was yeah, so you had big. to travel too far. <laughs> yeah, I can it, honest... it takes forever to travel from one side to the other. I can Gosh. honestly say that Odyssey, that Assassin's Creed Odyssey was the second best Odyssey game to come out that year. Second best Odyssey game? Yeah, Super Mario Odyssey. Fuck was the... Oh. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you troll <laughs> motherfucker. Um, so, so yeah, that game is going to be up really in the big. Air. Jump up, don't be scared. Uh, speaking of Ubisoft, uh, Ubisoft over the last couple months had a Let's Play Together campaign where they released a bunch of games for free. Oh, did they uh, announce during... how many people bought, like, downloaded this stuff? Yes. yes. Over 9 million people downloaded their free games over the last two months. Wow. Nice. Uh, reaching from Assassin's Creed 2, uh, Rayman, <laughs> Child of Light, uh, among other games. Uh, while the numbers aren't yet finalized, Ubisoft has come out and said the numbers will exceed over 9 million people have downloaded the free games during the their Let's Play Together campaign. So that's pretty cool. So good for them. Yeah. Good for them in this time. Uh, speaking of time. Uh, time? Not, not really a good segue. Mm. Uh, but Because uh, I didn't log it up news. to you. Thanks, man. I appreciate you. Uh, the next Call of Duty is on its way. Uh, it has been leaked uh, that it is officially Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Black that Ops. is the official name. Um, that it is a remake and an expansion of the original Black Ops game. Uh, it was re- leaked today um, via a picture of the title and what it will be named. Honestly, I think a leak this big probably happened on purpose because it's set to release in October. Which is only, if you think about it, four or five months away at this point, that um, they, people leaked it. Um, there'll be more news coming out when um, Activision does their conference here in the next couple weeks. So yeah, Black Ops Cold War is the next generation. It's unknown if there'll be a battle royal mode uh, in this to compete with the other battle royals I would that they hope already have. Not. Because they plan on keeping be. Warzone as their Warzone. main. Yeah, and that's probably and that's what they're thinking because they made it separate. And then with Warzone, uh, you know how you had the Gulag and you can buy your friends back if you die, all that fun stuff. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, say bye bye. Uh, for a limited time, for the next <laughs> two weeks, they were removing that feature into the game and going to a classic battle royal, back to the basics, is what they are calling it. Uh, They were removing the gulag, and they were removing the ability to buy your friends. It will be a straight battle royal. When you die, you die. Kind of like how uh, Blackout was. Hmm. Wish they just made it a separate mode. Yeah. 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 Uh, It's only a limited time only. How many people would actually play that mode, though? At least at that point, they don't stop like the people that would consider playing it. I don't know. Yeah, it's only it's only a limited time only, and they said the other version will return. I'm assuming with tweaks and twists, um, based. And they said this they don't feel that this is in relation to that one team getting 140 kills in one game, but they feel that has a lot to do with it because you can just pad those numbers because you can just continuously revive your friends, and that number just spikes. And it's not a true estimate of how many kills you actually got because you could have killed the same team five times. Because one of one person survives, goes and buys the other friends back. You kill them again, he goes buys them again, kills them again, kills them again, kills them again. So, but we'll see what happens there. And that is all the news that I have. Uh, anybody else got anything? I'm out. I don't. Gucci man. Got anything, Shreds? No, One perfect. thing I forgot to add for the uh, my weekly, Amory yeah. and I have been putting down some funky beats. Nice. Waiting for, yeah, that's what I heard. Hell yeah. Waiting for uh, Kitsune to get involved here. <clears throat> yeah, man, I've been going over and messing around with his equipment, dude. That shit is so fun. It's ridiculous. We've Maybe written a couple raps. Pretty soon here. I guess got to get my finances back in order, and then I'll be grabbing one. The sickest of the funky beats, says Proctor Piff. Thanks for the uh, sub, by the way, buddy. But... Uh, yeah, man. We've been having a lot of fun with that. 
<laughs> he actually got a bunch of uh, Udemy courses. Oh yeah, Udemy's really? great. Mm-hmm. Udemy's fantastic. I love They've had some everything. killer sales going on this they week too. They have insane it's, deals yo, right now like 17 dollars for or like 12 dollars for like 300 dollars programs yeah hashtag definitely not a sponsor but hey you to me if you want to sponsor us we're our our dms are open <laughs> fucking you to me make great. it happen you to me is fantastic the courses are great the instructors on a lot of the things are fantastic and uh yeah you can get they have sales all the time and it's super cheap like my uh I think for my, I have two courses in Blender and one in a uh, game uh, uh, coding in C plus plus in Unreal, and there's like fucking maybe you know 150 hours of stuff in those. I got for maybe 50 bucks total. Nice. It's pretty good, man. Yeah. Get some releases, shall we? We shall. So Shall this we? is until the uh, 30th? 31st. Yeah. 31st. Uh, so on the 26th, we have... Oh, boy, they're making it hard right off the bat. <laughs> Utawari Rum... Uh, U- Utawari Remuno Prelude to the Fallen is coming out for PS4 and the Vita. <laughs> Wildfire, it's U T A W A R E R U M O N O, Utawari yeah. Romano. There, I think that's actually. <laughs> holy shit! I think I got it. Utawari there Romano. You go. Yes. Yata. Prelude right to the there. Fallen. Uh, all those years of anime is paying off. Hell yeah! All those years <laughs> of hen- all those years of watching hentai is paying off. Uh, Wildfire <laughs> is also coming out on the PC on the 26th. The Elder Scrolls Online Greymore is coming out for PC and Mac on the 26th. Rune Lord is coming out for the PS4. Minecraft Dungeons is coming out for the PC and Switch and Xbone on the 26th. Quantum League is coming out for the PC on, you guessed it, the 26th. And Castle Pals is coming out for PS4 on the 26th. 27th, we have uh, Missile Command. Missile Command Recharge coming out for PC and Switch. Fantasy Star Online 2 finally coming out in the U.S. Still don't believe it. Coming out for the PC on the 27th and X-Bone. Castle Pals coming out for the X-Bone on the 27th. Many Faces coming out for the Xbox One and PS4 on the 27th. Then on the 28th, we have Synaptic Drive coming out for the Switch and PC. Umihara Kawuse Fresh coming out for the PC. <laughs> That one was a lot easier. I feel like I feel like I could do anything now after <laughs> after saying that first one. I feel like I I am on top I'm on cloud nine right now. I can go to Japan right now and be like just just conversate. Yeah. Bug Fables, the everlasting sapling coming out for PS4 and Switch on the twenty eighth. Atomic Crops coming out for the Switch and PS4 on the twenty eighth. Those who remain coming out for PS4 and PC. Resolution coming out for the PC and the Switch. <sighs> Umahara Ka- uh, Kawase Baku or oh f- fuck, Umahara. They gotcha. <laughs> you, it's gonna be funny when I uh, when you find out what word I got screwed up on. Umahara <laughs> Kawase Bazooka coming out for the PC on the twenty eighth. <laughs> he Defend- overthought it. <laughs> I did. They they Bazunga. threw that they they threw that switch up on me. Uh, Dungeon Defenders Awakened coming out for the PC on the 28th. Dungeon Defenders is really good. Oh, what the hell is this? Uh, the Game Paradise Cruise and Mix Special is coming out for uh, PC, PS4, and Switch. Sega Ages Thunder Force AC coming out for the Switch on the 28th. Shantae and the Seven Sirens coming out for the PS4 and Switch on the 28th. Then on the 29th, we got Geo Rifters coming out for the PC and Xbox One. Uh, Adam's Venture Origins, if you want to play a shitty Uncharted game, comes out for the Switch on the 29th. Indie Ocalypse, or yeah, Indie Cop. Indie Ocalypse comes out for the Xbox One and PC on the 29th. Strikers 1945 2 comes out for the PC on the 29th. Bioshock the Collection comes out for the Switch on the 29th. Uh, Gene- Genetic Disaster comes out for the PS4 and Switch. 
Borderlands The Legendary Collection comes out for the Switch. Little Misfortune comes out for the PS4 and Switch. XCOM 2 Collection comes out for the Switch. The Last Scape comes out for the Xbox One. Ultimate Fishing Simulator comes out for the Xbox One. And Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition comes out for the Switch on the 29th. Back to you guys in the studio. Appreciate it. Thank you, James, for that uh, amazing knowledge. Videos and TV shows, nothing really special. 26th comes out The Invisible Man. Uh, we've got a bunch of TV shows coming out that's being released. I'm not sure how it's going to work because they're all what I believe to be live, filmed live. Um, America's Got Talent and World of Dance. Those start on the 26th. And I don't think I didn't think TV shows were allowed to do that yet, but who knows? Uh, the twenty seventh, Netflix is coming out with a banger. Our favorite meme of uh, the uh, Christmas time, the documentary about our boy Jeffrey Epstein. Oh, is it about oh, how he didn't kill himself? Jeffrey Epstein, filthy rich, is what it's called. So, yeah, Should have been be, called uh, Jeffrey Epstein, not who you think himself. he was. <laughs> I didn't uh, know this show was even still on TV. Uh, Agents of Shield season seven <laughs> starts the. Oh, it does really well. Shit! Hold on, wait, guys, guys. Fortnite has finished downloading. Oh shit! All Here right, go, boys. hold on. Shut up. Quick, quick question for you, James. No, you got like another five minutes before it starts. Were you streaming today? Nope. Okay. Uh, Why? The Looney Tune cartoons. I was just checking. I, nothing's there. I know you said something about the preamble, so I was wondering if. That oh, yeah, actually... that's recorded. Uh, preamble. Must, like, uh, I don't know when HBO Max launched, but I'm guessing. Oh yeah, launched they have that Looney Tune show of, on there. A ton of shows are releasing the 27th, so I'm assuming it's le- releases the 27th, HBO Max, because there's like 10 things. One of them is the Looney Tunes. That I've seen clips of it on Twitter. It's hilarious. So I don't know if it's just a, a remake of the original Looney Tunes or adult version of it. It's um, no, like, it's just Looney Tunes. Uh, okay, just because I know just, that. Well, it's it's they, like um, you remember that one Looney Tunes. They did the show? adult version of the Muppets. There is that one Looney Tunes show where um, it does say early access. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, now it's now now I can get it uninstalled. I found out. There you go. No one lied to me. Uh, Fortnite will not close. Nip. Help. Oh, no. You're forever stuck. Uh, May 29th coming out with probably what will be absolutely hilarious from the creators of The Office, plus Steve Carell, Space Force season one. I'm game. On Netflix May 29th. Watching it. Don't care. Want to um, see? It. The trailers look absolutely hilarious. Is BJ Novak on that too? Oh, there was a bunch of people. He was a he was a, one of the producers on The Office. Ryan the Temp, I imagine. If you, I don't know if you actually know his name or not. There yeah, go. I believe uh, BJ like, Novak was, a, was a writer for that show look. forever, and then he got yeah. he was on the show. Ben Schwartz, um, who also is Sonic and played uh, um, what's his name from Parks and Rec. Um, God, I can't think of his name. Couldn't tell you. I never watched Rec. What was the name Schroeder, the the funny dude, the uh, um Ben Just Schwartz, Pratt? the voice of Sonic. <laughs> oh. Uh, he had his sister and he was Rufio. Or uh yeah. Ralphio. John Ralphio. John Ralphio. John Ralphio. <laughs> John Ralphio. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah and he's he's the main character in it as well, along with Steve Carell <laughs> and a bunch of other characters. Yes, yeah, from the, the exact creators, the exact same people who made the office and produced it. Anyone so. anything Steve Carell is in is brilliant. It's just so good. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's literally called Space Force. And that comes out the 29th. Hmm. Well, that is all I have. Uh, so let's, uh, where can we find everybody? How can we, uh, uh, where can we find you where we got to be? And where can we find you in the, the unknown future of the Level Unlock podcast? Yeah, the. Never. There about 10 minutes oh, left. Oh, why not? Yeah, we got like 10 so, minutes left of the podcast. And it's over so, forever. Find me everywhere at YF Kitsune. However, that might be subject to change. I've, I have an idea. We'll see if it fucking works or not. If I can get every all the fucking titles, what uh, I have something that my mind has not deviated from for the past two and a half weeks. And YF Kitsune was more of a on the whim. I liked it. It sounded cool, but this has been stuck in my head for the past like two and a half, almost three weeks. And 
this might be it. But however, we'll talk about that when we get there, if we get there. But yeah, everywhere there, uh, I might, hopefully I'll be able to start streaming again this week. I have been taking a pretty big break just because I don't know what I want to stream. I think I'm gonna play, I think I might finish Call of Cthulhu or I might play one of the games that I was sent by our dear buddy James up here. Uh, what, what are you? What the fuck is Mario's mystery meat? What the fuck is Mario's cement factory? This one dude I follow that that I watch on Twitch, he's playing uh, <laughs> Vine Sauce, is playing Mario Cement Factory, and the title of oh. the stream is Mario's Mystery Meat Java Phone yeah, Games. It's the mafia stayed, version. Stay tuned in Golden Light. Oh. The mafia version. Is that a sad yeah, face emoji cowboy? <laughs> Oh, I need to stop Proctor watching Fifth this right now. I'm Mario's fucked. Mystery Me is one of my late night go tos. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, <laughs> um, other than that, uh, like I said, I might be streaming again. I, I want to. We started playing Smash again a little bit. I want to. Oh fuck! We played Smash. Smash. Yeah, we played Smash. Then I forgot about that too. <laughs> uh, other than that, not a ton. Um, Kind of getting things in order. I actually think I'm gonna stream some Crucible because that game, that's fun, and I want to give it a real college try. I do plan on streaming For Honor as well because I plan on probably playing that the most this week because that game got me hooked again. It might catch some of my money too. I don't know. We'll see about the microtransactions. Um, but yeah, not a ton. So that's realistically it for me. Uh, we're gonna be working on some ideas. If I keep 76, if I can't get them to return it. I have an idea that I actually want to do. And Schroeder, I brought it up to you a little bit, uh, about, I want to say about a week ago. Um, but yeah, I want to do this whole like Chernobyl cinema-like kind of RP that's going to be more of a YouTube series because I think it would be better placed there because I know you're like big into like the whole editing and making things look nice and clean, clean and crisp and not just random gibberish in my Twitch channel. Um, but yeah, that's a possibility. We'll see. But yeah, that's that's about it for me. Uh, James, hold on. Mark. Yes. You 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 can go. I'm typing real quick. Okay, okay. Uh, you can watch me make mediocre content on YouTube and Twitch at Mark Dude Seven Hundred One. Uh, I. Honestly, I've been trying to trying to play skate for a while. I'm trying to stream that, but I'm just really bad at streaming. Honestly, my work schedule does not really make it easy. <clears throat> and then it's pretty much that. And I like work all day or whenever I wake up, and then I work most of the day, eat some food, shower, and then play games with these <laughs> guys, and then go to bed. So it's, I guess I could stream whenever we play games, but I'm honestly not the two not too talkative and I don't like to talk over people so mm -hmm. eh, it's a work in progress we'll get there but if you ever want to watch it you can watch it on YouTube at Twitch at Mark Dude 701 what's going on with you James well uh, you can watch me play um, Final Fantasy 7 remake on twitch.tv slash people hate studios you can also watch me maybe play RE 3 make that's cool that would be cool um, and then yeah probably going to be playing For Honor and crucible and maybe rainbow six and you know who knows we'll you we'll just play it by ear i need to figure out a game to play after uh final fantasy or resident evil 3 make and if you miss a stream you can always check out my uh, vod on uh youtube.com slash people hate studios as well as whenever we decide to record some more other things like og final fantasy 7 let's play and yakuza <coughs> zero and then if you want to see me retweet memes, go go to go to Twitter at people I hate ten. Nice. Hey Jeff. Hmm. What what are you gonna do this week? Um, I'll probably be messing around. Uh, let's see, what will I be doing? I'm definitely messing in the round on the server. Still, I'm having a lot of fun playing with that. Um, other than that, you guys can find me on uh. Splash Green Gaming on Twitch and the YouTubes, and then Team Splash Green on Facebook and Instagram. 
Uh, I don't know what I'm going to be doing. I've actually been looking at the Unreal Engine lately. Um, I have a couple ideas. Great. The Unreal Engine is yeah. really nice. Well, I found that there's a, there's plenty of Udemy courses on it, so um, I don't know if I'm going to need it. So, well, I mean, I've obviously, for the more detailed stuff probably, but you know, I'm going to see what I can get my hands into first and then kind of go on from there. Mm-hmm. But uh, it would be nice Need to help, let me know. Yeah, for sure. It would be nice to uh, play something. I don't know what yet, though. But <laughs> um, there have been a lot of good deals on Fanatica and stuff, so I've scooped up quite a few things. Um, now time to just kind of look through it. Those mystery keys, man, they get me every time. Oh, yeah, no, I know the feeling. Uh, I got actually, like, one or two good games in it, though. So... I don't know. I'll mess with that. Um, and then, really, that's about it that, uh, on the plate for the, the moment. What you, Walker? What you got going on, Barada? Uh, nothing too much. I keep having this rate with this weird number keep calling me. I don't know what it is. It's like Spam. they called me like eight times today already. Say, hey, I got some urgent news. I'm like, I don't know what's what it's about. Anyways, Did you pull the phone number. Well, no, he, he says he has questions about the podcast, but I don't know. I'll answer it here in a second. Anyways, uh, myself, Captain Geach 15 on all the socials. Uh, myself, hey, give me a second. Let me uh, see here. James, really quick, while I finish my week, let everyone know, despite the podcast coming to an end on episode 69, where can they find us for future reference while I answer this phone call? Yeah, so uh, you can find the Level Unlock podcast. Uh, the entire backlog of all, well, I guess it would be like 70, right? 70 episodes or so. There's uh, more than that if you include the specials. Oh, and yeah, with the specials. Yeah, you're right. Shit. A lot of episodes at levelunlockpodcast.podbean.com. And then you can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter at uh, what, Nate? LVL. Fuck! God damn. <laughs> Mark. Okay, what f- LVL unlocked pod. Oh, there. There. You that, never that's, have that's LVL I- unlocked pod. There we go. Keep in the comments. If- you gotta say it twice. <laughs> yeah, you gotta Otherwise, say it twice. Otherwise, it just doesn't say <laughs> it. doesn't work. I with that. <laughs> and with that Meadler. Yeah, and then also... Uh, um. And then also, um, you could become a lock picker, which do you, I mean, should we even mention the Patreon anymore since like, you know, we're done? I mean, <laughs> probably should. Well, yeah, just, just, just honest, in case we decide to yeah, keep just, going. Yeah. In case, in case we decide like, to make the comeback, um, right, we'll have two. that capital. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Season two. Um, you can check that out at. Uh, patreon.com slash level unlocked podcast oh hey walker i'm glad uh i'm glad you took the time to uh get off the phone for this yeah. show you know i mean this is kind of the sorry you know our our swan song here it is it's, it's our final episode but i actually got some crazy news i didn't actually know it was possible but the level unlocked podcast unfortunately i didn't have enough time to make uh to talk to you guys about it but i just made the executive decision on behalf of all of us uh, we just sold the podcast uh, to this guy, Bob Dooley O'Malley. I don't know. No, I guess he's been listening to episode one. So that's the fucking greatest thing he's ever listened to. I was like, okay, cool. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to buy your podcast. You guys don't have to end it in episode uh, 69. But he's got stipulations, though. He wants to uh, rename it. Uh, what does he want us to rename it to? Uh, because his name's Bob, it's now officially <laughs> level unlocked. Bobcast. Jesus Christ. Uh, so <laughs> next week, episode Jesus 70, Christ. will be the Level Unlock Bobcast uh, officially going forward. I'll see if we can work some more logistics out. But yeah, he just came in and said, hey, I bought your podcast. There's nothing you can do about it. Uh, Level Unlock Bobcast going forward. Uh, it lives on another day, but just under a different title. It's so like we'll, when, uh, um, do you guys remember um, the radio station up here, Froggy? 94.7 yeah and then that dude bob bought it and called it bob yeah. fm exact same thing <laughs> he's just Christ. like hey i'm pulling an ihop <laughs> we're now called i um i hob but we'll i don't know we'll, we'll see what happens yeah it's, 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 some some breaking news right there that we just been purchased and bought out by bob dooley o'malley uh he says he loves the podcast but 
we'll, we'll figure this out though. I think we need to end it on this note and uh, figure some logistics. Yeah, Possibly see you next week on the new me. Level Unlock Bobcast. I guess is that how it's gonna be? Maybe. But we'll see. We'll we'll know. Hopefully we'll have some more news. We'll we'll same. We'll we'll, we'll see what's going on here. Uh, we'll uh we'll see we'll see we'll see what we got. Uh, as always, thank you everybody for listening. Uh, to uh, the Level Unlock podcast next week. Who knows? Uh, we'll find out. Talk to you guys next week. Adios. Have a good night. Bye. Have a good night. Yeah, have a good one.